Don't miss the awesome Naruto stories my sister creates. Her last channel was hacked, so to stay in the loop, please subscribe to her new channel. It would mean a lot to her, and you won't regret it. Dear Naruto Lemon fans, I'm inviting all of you to my Boosty channel. You know that YouTube doesn't exactly approve of this kind of content, so please subscribe to my paid subscription and enjoy Naruto Lemon scenes comfortably. There are different subscription tiers from Mini Lemon to God Lemon. Those who buy the Over Naruto Lemon and God Naruto Lemon, I'll mentions in the videos. Dare. Chapter 1, The Mysterious Signal The sun was beginning to set, casting long shadows over the forest of death. Naruto Uzumaki, now a seasoned shinobi, moved through the underbrush with determined steps. A strange signal had reached him, a faint but urgent call emanating from deep within the forest. Seriously, what is this? Naruto muttered, frowning as he examined the small, ancient seal he'd discovered earlier in the day. It pulsed faintly, sending shivers down his spine. The seal had been inactive for years, yet now it seemed to be waking up. He slipped through the dense foliage, his sharp eyes scanning for any sign of danger. The forest of death had a reputation for being treacherous, but Naruto wasn't one to back down from a challenge. As he pressed forward, he couldn't shake the feeling that something ancient and powerful was stirring. Hey, Naruto! Wait up! Sakura's voice rang out behind him. She and Sasuke had insisted on accompanying him, concerned about the unusual signal. Naruto glanced over his shoulder and saw Sakura and Sasuke catching up. Sakura, with her pink hair tied in a neat ponytail, looked worried. Sasuke, ever stoic, had his eyes narrowed in concentration. What's up, Sakura? Sasuke? Naruto asked, his tone light despite the tension in the air. Sakura caught her breath, looking around nervously. This place gives me the creeps. You sure this is the right direction? Sasuke nodded, scanning the area with his Sharingan. The signal is definitely coming from deeper in. Let's stay alert. They continued through the forest, the silence occasionally broken by the distant calls of wildlife. The deeper they went, the darker and more foreboding the forest became. The trees seemed to whisper secrets of old, and an eerie fog began to roll in. Naruto stopped abruptly as they reached a clearing. In the center stood an ancient shrine, half-buried and overgrown with vines. The seal was glowing brightly now, pulsing with a rhythm that seemed almost alive. This is it, Naruto said, his voice filled with awe. The source of the signal. The shrine was adorned with strange symbols and markings. As they approached, a chilling breeze swept through the clearing, causing the leaves to rustle ominously. Sakura shivered. I don't like this. Something feels wrong. Sasuke's eyes narrowed as he approached the shrine cautiously. We need to find out what's causing this. Keep your guard up. Suddenly, the ground trembled, and a low, guttural chant echoed through the clearing. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke looked around in alarm. Shadows danced across the shrine's walls as figures emerged from the darkness, cloaked figures with an unsettling aura. One of the figures, clearly the leader, stepped forward. His eyes glowed with a sinister light. Welcome, Shinobi of Kanoha. You've come to witness the awakening of our dark power. Naruto clenched his fists, his expression hardening. Who are you? What are you doing here? The leader's smile was cold and cruel. We are the disciples of Jashin. And you've just arrived in time for our ritual. The ground beneath them began to crack as dark energy swirled around the shrine. Naruto and his friends readied themselves for battle. The forest had hidden many secrets, but this was unlike anything they had faced before. Get ready. 
Naruto shouted, drawing his kunai. We're not letting you complete whatever you're planning. As the Jashinists began their dark incantations, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke braced themselves for the fight of their lives. The fate of the Forest of Death, and possibly their own, hung in the balance. Chapter 2, Into the Heart of Darkness Naruto's heart pounded as he faced the eerie figures surrounding the ancient shrine. The leader of the Jashinists raised his hands, chanting in a language that sent shivers down Naruto's spine. The dark energy swirling around the shrine intensified, making the air feel heavy and oppressive. Sakura stood beside Naruto, her eyes wide with fear but her determination unshaken. What are they trying to do? she asked, her voice tight. Sasuke scanned the area, his Sharingan activated. They're performing a ritual. We need to stop them before it's too late. The leader's chant grew louder. And the dark energy began to take shape, forming a menacing figure in the center of the shrine. Naruto clenched his fists, feeling the weight of the situation. All right, everyone, let's do this. Naruto called out, drawing his kunai. He dashed forward, aiming for the Jashinists with swift, precise strikes. The cultists reacted immediately, their eyes glowing with dark energy. They moved with unnatural speed, their movements almost like shadows. One of the cultists lunged at Naruto, but he dodged with a fluid motion, countering with a powerful kick that sent the attacker crashing into a tree. Sakura used her strength to crush several cultists with powerful blows, while Sasuke's Sharingan allowed him to anticipate and dodge their attacks with ease. The fight was intense, and the air crackled with energy as Naruto and his friends fought to protect the shrine and themselves. The Jashinist leader continued the ritual, ignoring the chaos around him. His voice was a deep, resonant growl as he summoned more dark energy. The figure in the center of the shrine grew larger, its form becoming more defined and menacing. We need to break his concentration. Naruto shouted, trying to reach the leader through the throng of cultists. He threw a series of shuriken, aiming to disrupt the leader's focus. The leader's eyes flashed with annoyance as he deflected the shuriken with a wave of dark energy. You think you can stop us so easily? The power of Jashin will soon be unleashed upon this world. Naruto gritted his teeth, pushing forward despite the overwhelming odds. He spotted a group of cultists working on a strange device near the shrine. Sakura, Sasuke, cover me. I'm going to take out that device. Sakura and Sasuke nodded, continuing their battle against the cultists. Naruto sprinted towards the device, which seemed to be channeling the dark energy into the ritual. He reached it and quickly began to dismantle it, his hands moving with practiced precision. As he worked, a cultist noticed him and charged, but Naruto kicked him away, focusing on the device. The dark energy around the shrine seemed to pulse with anger, reacting to Naruto's interference. Come on, come on, Naruto muttered, his fingers working rapidly. He managed to dislodge a key component of the device, causing it to spark and fizzle out. The dark energy surrounding the shrine wavered, but the leader's chant continued unabated. The leader glared at Naruto, his frustration evident. Fools! You cannot stop the will of Jashin. Naruto felt a surge of energy as the dark figure in the shrine roared in fury. We'll see about that, he shouted, charging back into the fray. The battle raged on, with Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke working together to fend off the cultists. Despite their efforts, the Jashinist leader's ritual was nearly complete. The dark figure loomed over the shrine, its presence casting an ominous shadow over the clearing. In a desperate move, Naruto unleashed his shadow clone Jutsu, creating dozens of copies of himself. Let's finish this, he commanded, the clones charging at the cultists and leader with renewed vigor. The leader's concentration faltered as he was overwhelmed by the sheer number of Naruto's clones. The dark figure's form flickered, its power fluctuating as the ritual was interrupted. Sakura took advantage of the distraction, launching a powerful punch that struck the leader squarely in the chest. 
He staggered back, his chant breaking as he gasped for breath. This, this isn't over, he wheezed, struggling to maintain his composure. With their leader incapacitated, the remaining cultists began to retreat, their resolve wavering in the face of Naruto's relentless assault. The dark energy surrounding the shrine dissipated, and the ominous figure began to fade away. Breathing heavily, Naruto surveyed the battlefield. The shrine was battered and scorched, but the immediate danger had passed. Is everyone okay? he asked, looking at Sakura and Sasuke. Sakura wiped sweat from her brow, nodding. We're fine, but that was intense. Sasuke's eyes returned to their normal state, his expression thoughtful. We need to find out more about these Jashinists and their plans. They were trying to summon something powerful, and we stopped them for now, but there may be more to this. Naruto nodded in agreement. Let's search the shrine and see if we can find any clues about what they were up to. They began to explore the shrine, examining the remnants of the ritual and searching for any information that could explain the Jashinists' motives. Among the ruins, they found old scrolls and documents detailing the history of Jashin and the cult's goals. These scrolls talk about Jashin's influence and the power he grants to his followers, Sakura said, studying the texts. It looks like they were trying to harness that power to bring about some kind of apocalypse. Sasuke frowned, examining a particularly old and worn scroll. It mentions a prophecy about the rise of a new era of darkness. They were probably planning to use this ritual to bring that prophecy to life. Naruto's eyes narrowed. We need to make sure this information gets back to Konoha. If there are more cultists out there, we need to be ready. As they gathered the scrolls and prepared to leave the shrine, Naruto glanced back at the now silent clearing. We stopped them this time, but we can't let our guard down. There's more to this than we've seen. The trio made their way back through the forest of death, the weight of their discovery pressing heavily on them. The forest was still and quiet, a stark contrast to the chaos they had just faced. The sun had set completely, leaving them in the darkness of the forest. As they emerged from the forest and approached Konoha, Naruto felt a sense of resolve. They had faced a dark and dangerous threat, but they had emerged victorious. The road ahead would be challenging, but with their determination and strength, they were ready to face whatever lay ahead. Chapter 3, Secrets and Revelations The village of Konoha stood quietly under the moonlit sky, its streets dimly lit and serene after the tumultuous events in the Forest of Death. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke arrived back at the village's main gate, their faces reflecting both exhaustion and resolve. They had spent hours retrieving the scrolls and documents from the shrine, and now it was time to report their findings. As they walked through the village, Naruto glanced at his friends. We need to get these scrolls to Hokage-sama right away. The information we found is crucial. Sakura nodded carrying a bundle of scrolls. I agree. The sooner we inform the Hokage, the better. Sasuke, his expression thoughtful, added, we also need to be prepared. The Jashinists were only a small part of a much larger threat. They made their way to the Hokage's office, their steps echoing in the quiet night. Upon reaching the office, they were greeted by the familiar sight of Hokage Tower, its lights glowing warmly against the darkness. Inside, the Hokage, Tsunade Senju, was reviewing documents at her desk. She looked up as they entered, her expression shifting from curiosity to concern. Naruto, Sakura, Sasuke, Tsunade greeted them. What's the situation? Naruto stepped forward, placing the scrolls on the desk. Hokage-sama, we encountered a Jashinist cult in the Forest of Death. They were performing a dark ritual trying to summon a powerful entity. We managed to stop them, but we found these scrolls that might explain more about their plans. Tsunade's eyes widened as she examined the scrolls. Jashinists? That's troubling. We haven't dealt with them in years. What exactly did you find? Sakura began to explain. 
The scrolls describe Jashin's dark influence and the cult's goal of bringing about an era of darkness. They were attempting to use the ritual to bring this prophecy to life. Tsunade frowned, clearly concerned. This is serious. If they were successful, it could mean disaster for the entire world. We need to investigate further. Sasuke nodded. We should also look into whether there are any other Jashinist cells or allies that might still be active. We can't let our guard down. Tsunade agreed. I'll arrange for a thorough investigation. In the meantime, you three should rest. You've done a great job, but there's more work ahead. As they left the Hokage's office, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke felt a mixture of relief and unease. They had stopped a dangerous ritual, but the threat of the Jashinists loomed larger than ever. The next morning, the village was abuzz with activity. Reports of strange occurrences and sightings of unfamiliar figures had begun to circulate. It was clear that the Jashinist threat was far from over. Naruto met up with Sakura and Sasuke at their usual meeting spot. We should start by gathering more information about the Jashinists. Maybe there are old records or accounts that could give us a clue about their next move. Sakura agreed. I'll check with the library and see if there are any historical records about Jashin and his followers. Sasuke decided to visit the village's archives. I'll look into any past encounters with the Jashinists and see if there are any known associates or patterns. Naruto set off to explore the outskirts of the village, hoping to find any signs of the Jashinists' influence. He knew that understanding their plans would be key to stopping them. As Naruto walked through the village, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. The air felt heavy, and there was an uneasy quiet that seemed to permeate the surroundings. He decided to visit some of the village's outskirts, where rumors of strange occurrences had surfaced. At the edge of the village, Naruto noticed a secluded area with unusual markings on the ground. They resembled the symbols from the Jashinist shrine. Naruto crouched down to examine them more closely, his senses alert for any signs of danger. Looks like they were here, Naruto muttered, his mind racing. But why? Just then, he heard a rustling noise behind him. Naruto spun around, his hand on his kunai. Out of the shadows emerged a figure cloaked in black, their face hidden beneath a hood. Who's there? Naruto demanded, his eyes narrowing. Show yourself. The figure stepped forward, revealing a young woman with piercing eyes and a calm demeanor. You're the one who interrupted the ritual, she said, her voice soft but carrying an air of authority. I've been expecting you. Naruto tensed, ready for a fight. Who are you? And what do you want? The woman smiled faintly. My name is Aki. I'm a messenger of the Jashinists. Our plans have been disrupted, but our mission is far from over. Naruto's eyes widened. So you're one of them. What's your mission? Aki's expression grew serious. We seek to awaken the ancient power of Jashin and bring about a new era. The ritual you interrupted was just the beginning. There are more steps to complete, and we have allies who will not rest until our goal is achieved. Naruto clenched his fists, his determination hardening. We won't let you succeed. Kanoha will stand against your dark plans. Aki's eyes glinted with amusement. You're brave, but bravery alone won't be enough. The Jashinists are stronger than you think, and their influence reaches far beyond what you can imagine. Before Naruto could respond, Aki vanished into the shadows, leaving him alone with his thoughts. He knew that the Jashinist threat was more complex and dangerous than he had initially realized. Later that day, Naruto met up with Sakura and Sasuke at the village square. They shared their findings, each adding pieces to the puzzle of the Jashinist threat. Sakura had discovered historical records indicating that the Jashinists had been involved in various conflicts throughout history, always seeking to spread their dark influence. It looks like they've been operating in secret for a long time. They have a network of supporters, 
and their goals are deeply rooted in their beliefs. Sasuke had found information about past encounters with the Jashinists, including some of their known associates and patterns of activity. It seems they often operate in small, secretive cells, and their activities are usually linked to ancient rituals and artifacts. Naruto recounted his encounter with Aki, describing her calm demeanor and the threat she posed. She mentioned that there are more steps to their plan and that they have allies who are still active. Sakura frowned. If their plans involve awakening ancient power, we need to find out more about these artifacts and rituals. They might be key to their strategy. Sasuke agreed. We should focus on uncovering their next steps and disrupting their plans before they can gain more power. As the sun set over Konoha, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke prepared for the challenges ahead. The Jashinist threat was far from over, and the battle to protect their village and the world was just beginning. They knew that the road ahead would be difficult, but they were determined to stand against the darkness. With their combined strength and unwavering resolve, they were ready to face whatever threats lay ahead. Chapter 4 Unveiling Shadows The sun was barely rising over Kanoha, casting a golden hue over the village. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke gathered at their usual meeting spot, each with a determined look on their faces. They had spent the previous night analyzing their findings and preparing for the next steps in their investigation. We need to be thorough, Naruto said his eyes reflecting the early morning light. The Jashinists are a serious threat, and we need to find out everything we can about their plans. Sakura nodded, holding a stack of documents. I've been going through the historical records we found. It seems like there are references to an ancient artifact known as the Heart of Jashin. It might be the key to their plans. Sasuke, arms crossed, added, the artifact could be powerful enough to help them complete their ritual. We need to find it before they do. The three friends set off towards the village library to gather more information. Inside, the library was quiet, with only the occasional sound of pages turning. They split up, each focusing on different aspects of their search. Naruto headed towards the section on ancient artifacts. He skimmed through dusty old books and scrolls, looking for any mention of the heart of Jashin. After a few hours, he stumbled upon a tattered scroll with faded writing. This looks promising, Naruto muttered, carefully unrolling the scroll. The text was difficult to read, but he managed to make out a few key phrases about the heart of Jashin being a powerful relic hidden away for centuries. Sakura and Sasuke met up with Naruto, their faces showing signs of their own discoveries. I found a reference to a hidden temple in the mountains, Sakura said. It's said to be a place where Jashinists gather and perform their rituals. Sasuke nodded. I came across records mentioning that the temple was abandoned after a failed attempt to summon Jashin. If the Jashinists are trying to revive their plans, that could be their next target. With their new leads, the trio decided to investigate the hidden temple. They gathered their gear and set out, heading towards the mountainous region north of the village. As they made their way through the dense forest, the atmosphere grew more tense. The air was filled with an eerie silence, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves. I have a bad feeling about this, Naruto said, glancing around. We should stay alert. Sakura nodded, her eyes scanning the surroundings. Agreed. The Jashinists might have set up traps or sentries to protect the temple. After hours of trekking, they reached the base of the mountain where the temple was rumored to be. The path ahead was steep and rugged, but they pressed on, driven by their determination. As they climbed higher, the weather grew colder, and the wind howled through the mountains. The temple was hidden behind a veil of mist, its ancient stone walls barely visible. There it is, Sasuke said pointing ahead. We need to find a way inside. The trio approached the temple cautiously, their eyes searching for any signs of danger. They noticed a small entrance partially hidden by overgrown vegetation. Naruto led the way, pushing aside the plants and stepping into the dimly lit interior of the temple. 
The air was thick with dust and the scent of decay. The walls were adorned with faded symbols and carvings depicting dark rituals. This place gives me the creeps, Naruto said, shivering slightly. Let's find what we came here for and get out. As they explored the temple, they came across a large chamber with an altar at its center. On the altar lay a set of ancient scrolls in a small, ornate box. Sakura approached the altar, carefully examining the items. These scrolls look like they might contain information about the heart of Jashin. And this box, it could be the artifact we're looking for. Naruto nodded, his eyes focused on the box. Let's open it and see what's inside. Sasuke stood guard, watching for any signs of trouble. As Sakura opened the box, a faint glow emanated from within. Inside was a beautifully crafted gem, pulsating with a dark energy. This must be the heart of Jashin, Sakura said, her voice filled with awe. It's even more powerful than I imagined. Just then, a noise echoed through the chamber, followed by the sound of footsteps. The trio tensed, their senses on high alert. From the shadows emerged a group of cloaked figures, their faces obscured by hoods. The leader, a tall figure with a commanding presence, stepped forward. So, you found our treasure, the leader said, their voice cold and menacing. I should have known that the famous Team 7 would be the ones to disrupt our plans. Naruto stepped forward, his eyes blazing with determination. We won't let you use that artifact for your dark rituals. We're taking it back to Konoha. The leader chuckled, a dark glint in their eyes. You think you can stop us so easily? The heart of Jashin is only the beginning. Our true power lies in the rituals and the followers we have gathered. A fierce battle erupted as the Jashinists attacked. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke fought valiantly, their skills and teamwork on full display. Naruto used his shadow clones to overwhelm the enemies, while Sakura unleashed powerful jutsu to protect her friends. Sasuke employed his Sharingan to anticipate and counter the Jashinists' moves. Despite their efforts, the Jashinists were relentless. The leader, seemingly impervious to their attacks, chanted an incantation, causing the heart of Jashin to glow even brighter. This isn't just about the artifact, the leader shouted. It's about unleashing a power that has been sealed for centuries. The era of Jashin is upon us. Naruto gritted his teeth, knowing they needed to stop the leader's ritual. With a determined yell, he charged forward, using his Rasengan to break through the Jashinists' defenses. Sakura and Sasuke followed suit, their combined attacks creating a whirlwind of energy and force. Finally, with one last powerful strike, Naruto managed to knock the leader to the ground. The heart of Jashin fell from their grasp, and the chamber fell silent. Breathing heavily, Naruto picked up the heart of Jashin and examined it closely. We need to get this back to Konoha and make sure it's secured. Sakura nodded, her face showing a mixture of relief and concern. But we can't let our guard down. The Jashinists will likely come after us again. Sasuke agreed. We should be prepared for more attacks and continue to investigate their plans. There's still much we don't know. As they made their way out of the temple, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke felt a renewed sense of purpose. They had uncovered valuable information and thwarted a dangerous ritual, but the threat of the Jashinists remained. Their journey was far from over, and the challenges ahead would test their strength and resolve. But with their courage and determination, they were ready to face whatever darkness lay ahead. Chapter 5, Shadows of the Past the first light of dawn broke over the village of Konoha, casting a soft glow on the weary faces of Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke. They had returned from the forest of death, carrying the heart of Jashin and with heavy hearts from the battle they had fought. The village was still waking up, its streets empty except for the occasional early riser. Naruto, carrying the heart of Jashin carefully, led the way to the Hokage's office. Sakura and Sasuke followed, their expressions reflecting the exhaustion and worry they felt. 
As they approached the Hokage Tower, Naruto said, we need to make sure this artifact is properly secured. The Jashinists will be coming after it. Sakura nodded in agreement. And we need to brief the Hokage about what happened. They need to know the full extent of the threat. Sasuke, his eyes scanning their surroundings, added, we should also be prepared for any unexpected attacks. The Jashinists might have already started planning their next move. They entered the Hokage's office, where Tsunade was already waiting. Her face was serious as she took in the sight of the heart of Jashin. What happened? Tsunade asked, her voice firm but concerned. Naruto placed the heart of Jashin on the desk. We found the Jashinists' hidden temple. We managed to recover this artifact, but they were performing a ritual to unleash its power. We stopped them, but they're not going to give up easily. Tsunade examined the artifact closely. This is more dangerous than I thought. We need to ensure it is securely stored and studied. I'll arrange for a special team to handle it. Sakura spoke up, we also gathered information about their plans. The Jashinists are preparing for a major ritual, and we believe they have more hidden temples and artifacts. Tsunade's expression hardened. We need to gather as much information as we can. I'll have my team start investigating immediately. In the meantime, I want you three to take a break and recover. You've done enough for now. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke nodded, but they were too focused on the threat ahead to relax. They knew their work was far from over. As they left the Hokage's office, Sasuke turned to Naruto. We should follow up on the leads we have. There might be more clues about the Jashinists' plans. Naruto agreed. Let's start with the records we found in the temple. There might be more information that could help us. They headed to the village library to review the scrolls and documents they had collected. The library was quiet, with only the occasional sound of pages turning. Sakura sat at a table, spreading out the scrolls and documents. There's a reference to an ancient Jashinist prophecy. It speaks of a time when their god will return and bring about a new era. Sasuke scanned through the texts. If the prophecy is true, then the Jashinists are preparing for something major. We need to understand it better to anticipate their moves. Naruto looked over the documents, his brow furrowed in concentration. We need to find more information about this prophecy and any other artifacts they might be looking for. As they worked, a village messenger arrived with urgent news. Hokage-sama has requested your presence immediately. There's been an attack on the outskirts of the village. Naruto's eyes widened. An attack? We need to go. The trio hurried to the village outskirts, where they found a scene of chaos. Several buildings were damaged, and the villagers were in a state of panic. The attackers had already fled, but the destruction was significant. Tsunade arrived shortly after, her face tense with worry. We need to find out who did this and why. There might be a connection to the Jashinists. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke began investigating the scene. They found traces of dark chakra and symbols that matched those of the Jashinists. This is definitely their work, Sasuke said, examining the symbols. They're trying to create fear and confusion. Sakura added, we need to find out their next target. They're likely planning something bigger. Naruto looked determined. We need to protect the village and prevent further attacks. Let's report back to the Hokage and see if we can find more clues. Back at the Hokage's office, Tsunade was already deep in thought. The Jashinists are becoming more aggressive. We need to be prepared for anything. Naruto spoke up, we found symbols and traces of dark chakra at the attack site. They're trying to provoke us and destabilize the village. Tsunade nodded. I'll increase security around the village and send out teams to investigate any suspicious activity. In the meantime, I want you three to continue your research and keep an eye out for any further attacks. The trio agreed and returned to their research, working late into the night. 
They pored over the ancient texts, trying to piece together the full extent of the Jashinists' plans. As dawn approached, Naruto looked up from the scrolls, his eyes reflecting determination. We're getting closer to understanding what they're planning. We need to stay focused and ready. Sakura and Sasuke nodded, their resolve strengthened by their shared goal. They knew the challenges ahead would be difficult, but they were ready to face them together. Their investigation was far from over, and the threat of the Jashinists loomed large. But with their courage, strength, and unwavering determination, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke were prepared to confront whatever darkness lay ahead. Chapter 6 The Hidden Sanctuary the morning sun cast a warm light over Kanoha, but the village's tranquility was overshadowed by the tension of the past few days. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke, after a restless night of studying and strategizing, gathered at the Hokage's office to discuss their next steps. Tsunade greeted them with a serious expression. We've received reports of unusual activity in the northern forests. It matches the patterns we've seen from the Jashinists. I want you three to investigate. Naruto nodded, determination in his eyes. We'll find out what they're up to and put a stop to it. Sakura added, we've been going through the documents and scrolls we recovered. There's mention of a hidden sanctuary where Jashinists gather. It might be their main base. Sasuke agreed, if we can locate this sanctuary, we might be able to disrupt their plans. With their new mission in mind, the trio set off towards the northern forests. The path was rugged and overgrown, and the dense trees cast long shadows on the forest floor. They moved cautiously, aware that the Jashinists could be anywhere. Stay alert, Sasuke advised, his eyes scanning the surroundings. The Jashinists are likely using this forest as cover. We might run into traps or sentries. Naruto, leading the way, nodded. We need to find any signs of their presence and follow them to their sanctuary. As they ventured deeper into the forest, they came across a clearing with a series of strange markings on the ground. The symbols matched those they had seen in the Jashinist temple. These markings are recent, Sakura said, examining the symbols. They might lead us to their hideout. The trio followed the markings, which led them to a hidden entrance partially concealed by vines and foliage. The entrance was an old stone archway, weathered and covered in moss. Naruto pushed aside the vines and stepped through the archway. The passage beyond was dark and narrow, illuminated only by the faint glow of their lanterns. This must be it, Naruto said, his voice echoing in the confined space. Let's move quickly and quietly. They made their way through the passage, which eventually opened up into a large underground chamber. The chamber was filled with various artifacts, dark rituals, and symbols of the Jashinist cult. Sakura looked around, her eyes widening. This place is huge. It must be their main base of operations. Sasuke scanned the room, noticing several figures moving in the shadows. We're not alone. They've got guards and maybe more powerful members. The trio moved cautiously, staying hidden as they observed the Jashinists. The cultists were engaged in a ritual, chanting and performing dark rites around a central altar. Naruto whispered, we need to stop them from completing their ritual. It could be the key to their plans. Sakura nodded, her eyes focused on the ritual. Let's wait for the right moment to strike. We don't want to alert them too soon. As the Jashinists continued their ritual, the room was filled with an ominous energy. The altar glowed with a dark light, and the chanting grew louder. The ritual seemed to be reaching its climax. Sasuke signaled to Naruto and Sakura, indicating that it was time to act. The trio sprang into action, their movements swift and coordinated. Naruto unleashed his shadow clones, creating a distraction and drawing the attention of the guards. Sakura used her strength and jutsu to clear a path towards the altar, while Sasuke engaged the Jashinist leaders in combat. The battle was fierce. Naruto fought with determination. 
using his Raisingan and Taijutsu to overwhelm the Jashinist guards. Sakura's strength and medical ninjutsu allowed her to support her teammates and fend off attacks. Sasuke's Sharingan and precision strikes kept the enemy leaders on the defensive. Amidst the chaos, the ritual continued to pulse with dark energy. The Jashinist leader, a tall figure with a menacing presence, chanted furiously, trying to complete the ritual. Naruto, realizing the urgency, charged towards the altar, determined to stop the ritual. We need to take out the leader. That's the source of their power. Sasuke, covering Naruto, fought off the remaining guards while Sakura focused on protecting Naruto from any further attacks. Naruto reached the altar, his eyes locked on the leader. The Jashinist leader turned, eyes glowing with dark power. You're too late. The ritual is nearly complete. Jashin will rise again. Naruto's eyes blazed with resolve. Not if I have anything to say about it. With a powerful Raisingan, Naruto struck the altar, shattering it and disrupting the ritual. The dark energy surged and then dissipated, leaving the room in a state of disarray. The Jashinists, now weakened and disoriented, were quickly overpowered by Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke. The leader, realizing their defeat, tried to escape but was intercepted by Sasuke. You won't get away, Sasuke said, his voice cold. Tell us everything you know about your plans. The leader, defeated and bound, glared at Sasuke. You may have won this battle, but the Jashinists will never be defeated. Our plans will come to fruition, and Jashin's power will be unstoppable. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke exchanged determined looks. They knew the threat of the Jashinists was far from over, but they had dealt a significant blow to their plans. As they left the hidden sanctuary, the trio felt a mix of relief and apprehension. The fight had been intense, and the danger was still present. Back at the Hokage's office, Tsunade awaited their report. What did you find? Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke recounted their findings, describing the ritual and the hidden sanctuary. We disrupted their ritual and captured one of their leaders, Naruto said. But they're still out there, and their plans are far from over. Tsunade nodded, her expression serious. We need to increase our efforts to gather information and prepare for any future attacks. I'll send out additional teams to assist you. The trio agreed, knowing that their mission was far from finished. They had made progress, but the threat of the Jashinists loomed large. As they prepared for their next steps, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke were united by their shared determination. They knew that the fight against the Jashinists was far from over, but they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Their journey was ongoing, and the shadows of the past continued to cast their long and menacing presence. But with their courage and resolve, they were prepared to confront the darkness and protect their village from the looming threat. Chapter 7 Echoes of Darkness The aftermath of the battle left the underground sanctuary in ruins. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke emerged from the dark depths, their clothes tattered and faces etched with exhaustion. The dawn light filtered through the trees, a welcome contrast to the gloom of the hidden sanctuary. Naruto wiped sweat from his brow and turned to his teammates. We did it. The ritual's disrupted, but we've only scratched the surface. Sakura nodded, her expression tired but resolute. We need to find out more about their plans. They're definitely not going to give up easily. Sasuke glanced at the captured Jashinist leader, who was securely bound and being guarded by ANBU. We should interrogate him. He might have valuable information. Back at the Hokage's office, Tsunade awaited their report. The atmosphere was tense as they recounted the details of the raid. Tsunade listened intently, her brow furrowed with concern. The sanctuary was massive, Naruto said. We saw the leader performing a ritual to summon more dark power. He's still out there, and the Jashinists will likely regroup and strike again. Tsunade nodded. 
We need to ensure the safety of the village and continue gathering intelligence on the Jashinists. I'll send out additional teams to patrol and report any unusual activity. Sakura spoke up, we also need to analyze the artifacts we recovered from the sanctuary. They might hold clues about their next move. Tsunade agreed. I'll have the artifacts examined by our top experts. In the meantime, you three should get some rest. You've earned it. The trio made their way to their respective homes, though their minds were far from at ease. They knew the Jashinists were a persistent threat, and their work was far from over. Later that evening, Naruto sat alone in his room, reviewing the scrolls they had recovered. The flickering light of a candle illuminated his focused expression. He was determined to understand the full extent of the Jashinists' plans. There was a knock at his door. Sakura entered, carrying a scroll. I thought you might want to see this. Naruto took the scroll and unrolled it. It contained detailed notes on the Jashinist cult's activities, including references to a series of hidden temples across the land. This could be useful, Naruto said, his eyes scanning the text. If we can locate and secure these temples, we might be able to prevent further attacks. Sakura nodded. We should start planning our next move. We need to be ready for whatever they have planned. The following day, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke met with Tsunade to discuss their findings. The Hokage's office was bustling with activity as the village prepared for any potential threats. Tsunade reviewed the scrolls and artifacts, her face thoughtful. These texts suggest that the Jashinists are planning something significant. They're trying to consolidate their power and may be searching for more powerful artifacts. Naruto looked determined. We need to find these hidden temples and stop them before they can complete their plans. Tsunade agreed. I'll assign a reconnaissance team to assist you. They'll help you locate the temples and gather more information. The team set out once again, this time with additional support from the reconnaissance squad. They traveled across the land, following the clues and symbols they had found. Their journey took them through various terrains, dense forests, treacherous mountains, and ancient ruins. Each location seemed to offer new challenges, but their determination never wavered. At one point, they discovered a hidden entrance in an abandoned village. The entrance was concealed behind a wall of overgrown vegetation and rubble. Naruto pushed aside the debris, revealing a dark passage. This must be another Jashinist hideout, Sakura said, her voice filled with anticipation. Let's be careful. They entered the passage and navigated through a series of traps and puzzles designed to protect the sanctuary. Sasuke's Sharingan was crucial in detecting hidden dangers and guiding them through the complex maze. Eventually, they reached a large chamber filled with more artifacts and ritualistic objects. The chamber was eerily quiet, and the air was thick with dark energy. Naruto examined the artifacts and found a scroll detailing a ritual to awaken an ancient Jashinist weapon. This is what they're after, he said. We need to stop them from completing this ritual. Sakura began to analyze the scrolls while Sasuke stood guard. As they worked, they heard footsteps approaching. The Jashinists had found them. We've got company, Sasuke said, drawing his sword. Get ready. The chamber was soon filled with Jashinist cultists, their dark robes swirling as they chanted and prepared for battle. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke sprang into action, fighting against the cultists with all their strength. The battle was intense, with Naruto unleashing his Rasengan and Shadow clones to create distractions. Sakura used her strength and medical jutsu to heal her teammates and fend off attackers. Sasuke's precision strikes and Sharingan helped them gain the upper hand. Despite their efforts, the cultists were relentless. The battle seemed to stretch on indefinitely, with each side pushing hard to gain control of the chamber. During the fight, Naruto spotted a Jashinist leader trying to complete the ritual. He charged forward, determined to stop him. You're not finishing that ritual, Naruto shouted, clashing with the leader. 
The leader sneered, you're too late. The power of Jashin will be ours. Naruto and the leader fought fiercely, each blow and jutsu exchanged in a high-stakes duel. Naruto's resolve and strength were tested, but he fought with unwavering determination. Finally, with a powerful Rasengan, Naruto shattered the ritual's focus and disrupted the process. The dark energy that had been gathering dissipated, leaving the chamber in chaos. The remaining cultists, seeing their plans thwarted, retreated in disarray. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke stood amidst the wreckage, breathing heavily from the intense battle. That was close, Sakura said, her voice tired but relieved. We need to secure this place and ensure there are no more threats. Sasuke nodded. We should report back to the Hokage and update her on what we found. They made their way back to Kanoha, where Tsunade awaited their report. The Hokage listened intently as they described the battle and the ritual they had disrupted. This is troubling news, Tsunade said. The Jashinists are clearly making moves to consolidate their power. We need to remain vigilant and continue our efforts to gather information. Naruto nodded. We'll keep investigating and work to prevent any further threats. As they prepared for their next mission, the trio was united by their shared goal. The fight against the Jashinists was far from over, and they knew they needed to stay strong and focused. Their journey had only just begun, and the echoes of darkness continued to loom large. But with their courage, determination, and teamwork, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Chapter 8, Shadows in the Dark The quiet of the Hidden Leaf Village was a stark contrast to the chaos Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke had left behind. The sun was setting, casting long shadows across the streets. Despite their recent victory, a sense of unease lingered among the villagers. The Jashinists were a constant threat, and their presence loomed like a dark cloud. Naruto and his team walked towards the Hokage's office, each step heavy with the weight of their recent battle. The defeat of the Jashinist cultists had been a victory, but it was clear that the real struggle was far from over. Inside the Hokage's office, Tsunade was waiting. Her face was etched with concern as she reviewed the latest reports. She looked up as Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke entered. Report, Tsunade said, her voice calm but firm. Naruto stepped forward. We secured the hidden temple and disrupted their ritual. We found evidence that the Jashinists are preparing for something big. They're searching for an ancient weapon. Tsunade's brow furrowed. We need to find out more about this weapon and their next move. Have you learned anything else from the artifacts or scrolls? Sakura nodded. The scrolls mentioned a dark artifact that could amplify their power. We didn't have time to fully examine everything, but we believe it's connected to their plans. Sasuke added, we need to be prepared for anything. The Jashinists are organized and dangerous. Tsunade sighed. I'll have the scrolls and artifacts examined by our experts. In the meantime, I want you three to investigate any leads about the dark artifact. Gather as much information as you can. The team nodded and left the office, ready for their next mission. They knew the search for the dark artifact would be a challenging task, but their resolve was unwavering. As they prepared to leave the village, Naruto received a message from Yamato, who had been monitoring the area around the hidden temple. Yamato wants to meet us at the outskirts of the village, Naruto said. He might have more information. The team made their way to the meeting point, where Yamato awaited them. His expression was serious as he greeted them. I've been tracking the movements of the Jashinists, Yamato said. They've been unusually active, moving in groups and avoiding detection. It seems like they're preparing for something significant. Sakura looked concerned. What could they be planning? Yamato shook his head. It's hard to say. But we've detected strange energy readings in the area. It could be related to the dark artifact. Naruto's eyes narrowed with determination. 
We need to investigate these energy readings and find out what the Jashinists are up to. The team set out once again, following the trail of energy readings. Their journey took them through dense forests and rugged terrain. The path was treacherous, but their focus remained sharp. As they neared their destination, the energy readings grew stronger. The team approached cautiously, sensing that they were close to discovering something significant. Suddenly, they stumbled upon a hidden cave entrance. The cave was concealed by a natural rock formation and was covered in ancient symbols. This must be it, Sasuke said, examining the symbols. It's a Jashinist seal. Naruto nodded. Let's go inside and see what we can find. They entered the cave, moving carefully through the dimly lit passages. The air was thick with the scent of earth and decay. As they ventured deeper, they encountered more symbols and ritualistic markings. In the heart of the cave, they found a chamber filled with dark artifacts and ancient texts. The chamber was illuminated by flickering torches, casting eerie shadows on the walls. Sakura began examining the artifacts. These are definitely connected to the dark artifact. We need to find any information about its location. Naruto and Sasuke searched the chamber for clues. Naruto found a scroll hidden beneath a pile of rubble. He unrolled it and read aloud. This scroll contains details about the dark artifact, Naruto said. It's said to be hidden in a sacred location, protected by powerful seals. Sasuke studied the scroll. We need to find this sacred location and secure the artifact before the Jashinists do. As they gathered the information, the sound of footsteps echoed through the cave. The Jashinists had found them. We've got company, Sasuke said, drawing his sword. Cultists emerged from the shadows, their dark robes swirling as they prepared for battle. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke braced themselves for another confrontation. The battle was fierce. Naruto unleashed his Rasengan and Shadow clones, creating a whirlwind of attacks. Sakura used her strength and medical jutsu to support her teammates and fend off the cultists. Sasuke's Sharingan allowed him to detect and counter their moves. Despite their best efforts, the Jashinists were relentless. The chamber was soon filled with the clash of weapons and the sound of battle. Naruto fought his way through the crowd, determined to protect his friends and complete their mission. He noticed a figure in the background, working to activate a dark ritual. That's the leader, Naruto shouted. We need to stop him. Naruto charged towards the leader, engaging him in a fierce duel. The leader was powerful and skilled, but Naruto's resolve was unshakable. He fought with everything he had, determined to prevent the completion of the ritual. Sakura and Sasuke continued to battle the cultists, their teamwork and skill keeping them in control of the situation. As Naruto faced the leader, the ritual's energy began to intensify. With a powerful Rasengan, Naruto shattered the leader's focus and disrupted the ritual. The dark energy in the chamber began to dissipate, and the remaining cultists retreated in panic. Breathing heavily, Naruto looked around at the damage. We need to secure this place and ensure there are no more threats. The team began to gather the remaining artifacts and texts. They knew the Jashinists would regroup and continue their efforts, but they had made progress in their mission. Back at the village, Tsunade was waiting for their report. She listened intently as Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke described the battle and their findings. This is valuable information, Tsunade said. The dark artifact is clearly a major threat. We need to continue our efforts to locate and secure it. Naruto nodded. We'll keep investigating and stay vigilant. We won't let the Jashinists succeed. As the team prepared for their next mission, they were united in their determination to protect their village and stop the Jashinists. The fight was far from over, but they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Their journey continued, filled with danger and uncertainty. But with their courage, strength, and teamwork, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke were prepared to confront the shadows that threatened their world.
Chapter 9, The Hidden Path The Hidden Leaf Village was buzzing with activity as Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke prepared for their next mission. Their recent encounter with the Jashinists had only heightened their sense of urgency. The dark artifact was still out there, and every lead was crucial. In the Hokage's office, Tsunade paced back and forth, her expression serious. She looked up as the team entered. We've received new information, Tsunade said. There's a rumor about a hidden base in the Land of Rain. It's believed to be a key location for the Jashinists. Naruto's eyes lit up with determination. We need to investigate it. It might lead us to the dark artifact. Sakura nodded. We'll gather as much information as we can and neutralize any threats we encounter. Tsunade handed them a map with the suspected location marked. Be cautious. The Land of Rain is known for its harsh weather and difficult terrain. With their mission set, the team prepared for their journey. They packed supplies and made final checks before setting out. As they left the village, the sky was overcast, hinting at the rain they would soon encounter. The land of rain was as harsh as its reputation. The team trudged through muddy paths and heavy rain, their visibility limited. Despite the weather, they pressed on, driven by their goal. After several hours of travel, they reached the outskirts of a dense forest. According to the map, the hidden base should be somewhere within. They entered the forest, navigating through thick foliage and treacherous terrain. This place is a maze, Sasuke remarked, scanning the area with his Sharingan. We need to stay alert. As they advanced, they found signs of recent activity, broken branches, disturbed ground, and traces of campfires. The trail was growing warmer. Sakura spotted a hidden path partially obscured by vegetation. This could lead us to the base. Let's check it out. They followed the path, which eventually opened up into a clearing. In the center stood a concealed entrance to an underground facility. The entrance was well hidden, but Naruto's keen senses picked up the faintest hint of chakra emanating from it. This must be it, Naruto said. Let's go. The team descended into the underground facility, moving carefully to avoid triggering any traps. The corridors were dimly lit by flickering torches, and the air was damp and musty. As they proceeded, they encountered several sealed doors and traps, which Sasuke expertly disarmed. The facility appeared to be a combination of living quarters, storage rooms, and research labs. In one of the labs, they found documents detailing the Jashinists' plans. Sakura examined them closely. These documents mention a hidden chamber where the dark artifact might be kept, Sakura said. We need to find it. They continued their search, passing through various rooms filled with strange machinery and dark artifacts. Each room they explored revealed more about the Jashinists' operations. In one room, they found a map detailing several locations across the world where similar artifacts might be hidden. The complexity of their plans became increasingly apparent. This map is crucial, Sasuke said. It shows multiple sites connected to the dark artifact. We need to secure it and report back to Tsunade. As they prepared to leave, they were ambushed by a group of Jashinist guards. The guards emerged from hidden passages, their dark robes blending with the shadows. Looks like they've been expecting us, Naruto said drawing his kunai. Get ready. The battle was intense. Naruto used his shadow clones to create a diversion while he struck from different angles. Sakura utilized her strength and medical jutsu to keep the team in fighting shape. Sasuke used his Sharingan to anticipate and counter the guards' moves. Despite their best efforts, the guards were formidable. They fought with a ferocity that matched their devotion to the Jashinist cause. The team had to be strategic in their approach, coordinating their attacks to overcome the guards. In the heat of the battle, Naruto noticed a figure in the background directing the guards. It was one of the Jashinist leaders. I'm going after him. Naruto shouted. Naruto charged towards the leader, 
engaging him in a fierce duel. The leader was powerful and skilled, wielding dark jutsu that made the fight challenging. But Naruto's determination never wavered. The leader taunted Naruto. You're too late. The dark artifact's power will soon be ours, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Naruto gritted his teeth, his resolve strengthening. I won't let you succeed. Not while I'm here. The fight continued, with Naruto pushing his limits to defeat the leader. Meanwhile, Sakura and Sasuke held off the remaining guards, their teamwork proving essential in turning the tide of battle. With a final, decisive strike, Naruto defeated the leader. The remaining guards retreated, their morale shattered by the loss. Panting and exhausted, Naruto regrouped with Sakura and Sasuke. We need to secure the map and get out of here. We've got valuable information, but we're not done yet. They gathered the map and documents, ensuring they had everything they needed. As they exited the facility, the rain had lightened, and the clouds began to part. The team made their way back to the Hidden Leaf Village, their spirits buoyed by their success but aware of the challenges ahead. Back at the village, Tsunade reviewed the map and documents with the team. Her expression was one of deep concern. This map confirms our worst fears, Tsunade said. The Jashinists are planning a large-scale operation to collect and use the dark artifacts. We need to act quickly. Naruto nodded. We'll continue our investigation and disrupt their plans. We won't let them succeed. The team prepared for their next steps, knowing that the journey ahead would be fraught with danger. Their resolve was unshakable, and they were ready to face whatever came next. As they set out to further their mission, they carried with them the weight of their responsibility and the hope of protecting their world from the dark forces that threatened it. Chapter 10 The Path to Truth The Hidden Leaf Village was in a state of heightened alert. The information Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke had uncovered about the Jashinists' plans was crucial. The threat of the dark artifact and its potential power loomed over them, making their next steps critical. In the Hokage's office, Tsunade studied the map and documents the team had brought back. She looked up as Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke entered. Good work on the mission, Tsunade said, her tone serious. The map shows several key locations. We need to prioritize which ones to investigate. Naruto leaned forward. What's our first move? Tsunade tapped a location on the map. This site in the land of water is our best lead. It's known to be a hidden stronghold of the Jashinists. They might have more information about the dark artifact. Sakura nodded. We'll head there immediately. What should we be aware of? Tsunade glanced at the map. The land of water is treacherous, with many natural obstacles and potential traps. Stay alert and be prepared for anything. With their orders clear, the team prepared for their journey. They packed their supplies and set out, heading towards the land of water. The weather was cold and rainy, adding to the challenge of their mission. The journey was long and arduous. The team trekked through dense forests, across slippery rocks, and through heavy rain. Despite the harsh conditions, their determination remained unwavering. As they approached the suspected location, the terrain grew increasingly difficult. The land of water was known for its marshes and rocky landscapes. The team navigated carefully, avoiding hidden pitfalls and treacherous terrain. We're getting close, Sasuke said, scanning the area with his Sharingan. Keep your guard up. In the distance, they spotted a large, ancient structure partially concealed by mist and vegetation. It matched the description of the hidden stronghold. That must be it, Naruto said, pointing towards the structure. Let's check it out. They approached the stronghold cautiously, noticing that it was surrounded by a high wall and guarded by Jashinist sentries. The structure was old and imposing, with dark symbols etched into its walls. We need to find a way inside without being detected, Sakura said. Sasuke examined the perimeter, finding a hidden entrance concealed by foliage. I've found a way in. 
Follow me. The team slipped through the entrance and into the stronghold. The interior was dimly lit, with torches flickering along the walls. They moved stealthily, avoiding patrols and searching for clues. In one of the rooms, they discovered a set of documents detailing the Jashinists' plans. Sakura began to read through them. These documents mention a hidden chamber where the dark artifact is being stored, Sakura said. We need to find it before it's too late. As they continued their search, they encountered several guards. The team engaged in a swift, silent battle, neutralizing the guards without raising alarm. They knew that the real challenge lay ahead. Following the clues from the documents, they found a staircase leading to the lower levels of the stronghold. The air grew colder as they descended, and the walls were covered in eerie, glowing runes. This place feels ominous, Naruto said, his eyes scanning the surroundings. They reached the bottom of the staircase and entered a large chamber. The chamber was filled with strange artifacts and dark energy. In the center of the room was a pedestal holding a dark, ornate box. That must be the dark artifact, Sasuke said, approaching the pedestal. Suddenly, the chamber was filled with a blinding light as a trap was triggered. The room shook, and dark energy swirled around them. Watch out! Sakura shouted, using her strength to protect her teammates. The team fought through the dark energy, determined to reach the pedestal. Naruto used his Rasengan to dispel the energy, while Sasuke's Sharingan allowed him to see through the illusions. With a final effort, Naruto reached the pedestal and opened the box. Inside was a dark crystal, radiating a malevolent energy. This is it, Naruto said, carefully examining the crystal. We need to get this back to the village. As they prepared to leave, they were confronted by a group of Jashinist leaders. The leaders were powerful and appeared to be waiting for them. You've come a long way, one of the leaders said, his voice dripping with menace. But this is where your journey ends. The team braced for battle. The leaders were formidable opponents, using dark jutsu and powerful attacks. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke fought with everything they had, determined to protect the dark crystal and complete their mission. The battle was intense. Naruto unleashed his shadow clones and Rasengan, creating a whirlwind of attacks. Sakura used her medical jutsu and strength to support her teammates and fend off the leaders. Sasuke's Sharingan allowed him to anticipate the leaders' moves and counter their attacks. Despite their efforts, the leaders were strong and relentless. The battle raged on, with each side pushing their limits. The room was filled with the sounds of combat and the clash of jutsu. Naruto faced the leader who had spoken earlier. The leader's dark jutsu created powerful barriers and attacks that challenged Naruto's resolve. You cannot stop us, the leader said, his voice filled with arrogance. The dark artifact's power will be ours, and you will fall. Naruto's determination only grew stronger. I won't let you win. Not while I'm here. With a final, powerful Rasengan, Naruto broke through the leader's defenses and defeated him. The remaining leaders were overwhelmed by the combined efforts of Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke. Breathing heavily, the team regrouped and secured the Dark Crystal. They quickly made their way out of the stronghold, avoiding any further encounters with Jashinists. Back at the Hidden Leaf Village, Tsunade was waiting anxiously for their return. When the team arrived, they presented the Dark Crystal and the information they had gathered. This is significant, Tsunade said, examining the crystal. We need to analyze its properties and understand its full potential. Naruto nodded. We've faced many challenges, but we're one step closer to stopping the Jashinists. Tsunade looked at the team with a mix of gratitude and concern. Your efforts are invaluable. We still have much work ahead of us, but with this artifact, we can better prepare for what's to come. The team knew that their mission was far from over. The dark artifact was only one piece of the puzzle, and the Jashinists' plans were still unfolding.
But they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, united in their resolve to protect their world from the looming threat. As they prepared for their next steps, the weight of their responsibility was clear. The journey was filled with danger and uncertainty, but with their courage and teamwork, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke were determined to confront the darkness and bring peace to their world. Chapter 11, The Shadows Unveiled Back in the Hidden Leaf Village, the atmosphere was tense. The dark artifact had been taken to a secure location for analysis, but the threat of the Jashinists loomed large. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke, exhausted but resolute, debriefed with Tsunade in her office. Excellent work retrieving the artifact, Tsunade began, her eyes sharp and focused. However, the Jashinists' intentions remain unclear. We need more information. Naruto nodded, his expression serious. What's our next move? Tsunade glanced at the map on her desk. We've identified several locations tied to the Jashinists' activities. We need to investigate these sites to prevent further attacks. Sakura spoke up. What about the artifact? Is it safe? It's under guard, Tsunade assured them. But we must be prepared for any attempts to retrieve it. The Jashinists won't give up easily. Sasuke folded his arms. Where should we start? The nearest location is a shrine in the land of rivers, Tsunade said. It's believed to be a center of their operations. You'll need to go undercover to avoid detection. The team prepared for their next mission. The land of rivers was known for its scenic beauty but also for its hidden dangers. They gathered supplies and set off, their resolve as strong as ever. The journey to the land of rivers was filled with natural beauty. The lush landscape and flowing rivers were a stark contrast to the danger they faced. The team traveled cautiously, aware that their mission was fraught with risk. Upon reaching the shrine, they found it secluded and serene, nestled among tall trees and surrounded by tranquil waters. However, they were aware that appearances could be deceiving. This place looks peaceful, Naruto observed. Too peaceful. Sakura scanned the area with her keen senses. We should be careful. The Jashinists are experts at hiding their true intentions. They approached the shrine, noting the intricate carvings and symbols that adorned its exterior. The air was thick with a sense of foreboding. Inside the shrine, the atmosphere was even more unsettling. Dark symbols were etched into the walls, and the air felt heavy with dark energy. The team split up to search for clues. Sasuke examined a series of scrolls and found a hidden compartment behind a false wall. Inside, they discovered documents detailing the Jashinists' plans, including references to other dark artifacts and hidden rituals. These documents are crucial, Sasuke said, holding up the scrolls. They mention a ritual to enhance the power of the dark artifact. We need to stop this before it's too late. Sakura took a closer look at the documents. There's a mention of a ritual site in the Land of Snow. It's where the Jashinists plan to conduct their dark ceremonies. Naruto's eyes narrowed with determination. We have to go there and prevent them from completing the ritual. As they prepared to leave, they were ambushed by a group of Jashinist ninjas. The ambush was swift and brutal. With the enemies using dark jutsu and traps to overwhelm them. We're surrounded. Sakura shouted, using her strength to fend off the attackers. Naruto and Sasuke fought back with fierce resolve. Naruto unleashed his Rasengan, creating a whirlwind of energy that pushed back the enemies. Sasuke's Sharingan allowed him to anticipate their moves and counter their attacks effectively. Despite their efforts, the battle was intense. The Jashinist ninjas were relentless, and the team struggled to maintain their ground. The fight seemed to stretch on forever, with each side giving their all. Finally, Naruto's shadow clones provided a crucial advantage. They overwhelmed the enemies with sheer numbers, allowing Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke to focus on their main attackers. We need to get out of here. Naruto said, 
taking down the last of the Jashinist ninjas. The shrine is compromised. The team quickly made their way back to the village, carrying the documents and vital information. They reported their findings to Tsunade, who was deeply concerned. This is worse than we thought, Tsunade said, reviewing the documents. The Jashinists are planning a powerful ritual that could increase their strength significantly. What can we do to stop them? Sakura asked. We need to disrupt the ritual before it begins, Tsunade replied. We'll coordinate with other villages and strengthen our defenses. Your next mission will be to infiltrate the ritual site in the Land of Snow. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke prepared for their next mission, knowing that time was of the essence. The Land of Snow was known for its harsh climate and difficult terrain, adding to the challenge they faced. As they traveled to the Land of Snow, the weather grew colder. Snow and ice blanketed the landscape, creating a beautiful but treacherous environment. The team navigated carefully, aware of the risks and challenges. Upon reaching the ritual site, they found a secluded fortress surrounded by ice and snow. The structure was fortified and heavily guarded by Jashinist forces. We need a plan to get inside, Sasuke said, studying the fortress. It's heavily fortified, and we can't afford to be detected. Sakura suggested using a diversion to draw the guards away from the main entrance. We could create a disturbance on one side of the fortress and slip in from the other. Naruto agreed. Let's do it. The team executed their plan with precision. Naruto used his shadow clones to create a diversion, causing a commotion that drew the guards' attention. While the guards were distracted, Sakura and Sasuke snuck into the fortress. Inside, the air was frigid, and the fortress was adorned with dark symbols and artifacts. The team moved stealthily, searching for the ritual chamber. They soon discovered a large room filled with dark energy. At the center of the room was an altar, with the dark artifact placed prominently on it. Jashinist priests were preparing for the ritual, chanting incantations and performing dark jutsu. We need to stop this now, Naruto said, his voice resolute. The team charged into the room, engaging the Jashinist priests in a fierce battle. The priests were powerful, using dark magic and forbidden jutsu to fight back. Sakura used her strength and medical jutsu to protect her teammates and counter the dark attacks. Sasuke unleashed his Sharingan, predicting the priests' moves and striking with precision. Naruto fought with relentless energy, using his Rasengan and Shadow clones to overwhelm the enemy. The battle was intense, with each side pushing their limits. Despite their efforts, the priests were determined to complete the ritual. The dark energy in the room grew stronger, threatening to engulf everything. Naruto focused on the dark artifact, using his powers to disrupt the ritual. With a powerful Rasengan, he shattered the altar and destroyed the artifact. The dark energy dissipated, and the Jashinist priests were defeated. The team stood victorious, but exhausted from the intense battle. We did it, Sakura said, breathing heavily. The ritual is stopped. Sasuke nodded. We need to return to the village and report our success. As they made their way back to the hidden leaf village. The weight of their mission settled on them. They had prevented a great evil from being unleashed, but the threat of the Jashinists was not yet over. Back in the village, Tsunade praised their bravery and determination. You've accomplished a significant task. The dark artifact is destroyed, and the ritual is halted. However, the Jashinists will not give up easily. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke knew that their journey was far from over. The battle against the Jashinists was only one part of a larger struggle. But with their strength, courage, and teamwork, they were prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The team's bond grew stronger with each mission, and their resolve to protect their world remained unshakable. As they prepared for their next steps, they knew that they would confront the darkness with unwavering determination, united in their quest to bring peace to their world. Chapter 12 The Hidden Threat the Hidden Leaf Village was abuzz with activity as Naruto, Sakura, 
and Sasuke returned from their mission. The defeat of the Jashinist priests and the destruction of the Dark Artifact had been a significant victory, but the lingering threat of the Jashinists made it clear that their battle was far from over. In Tsunade's office, the mood was somber yet determined. The Hokage reviewed the reports with a furrowed brow. You've done well in stopping the ritual, but we've received troubling news. The Jashinists are regrouping and planning another strike. Naruto frowned. Where will they strike next? Tsunade pointed to a location on the map. There are reports of unusual activity in the Land of Rain. We suspect they are setting up a base there. Sasuke's eyes narrowed. The Land of Rain is known for its difficult terrain and frequent rain. It will be challenging to navigate. Sakura nodded. We need to gather more information before heading there. We should find out exactly what they're planning. Tsunade agreed. I'll arrange for a reconnaissance team to gather intel. In the meantime, prepare yourselves for another mission. As they left the office, Naruto's thoughts were focused on the upcoming mission. We need to be ready for anything. The Jashinists are getting more dangerous. Sakura placed a reassuring hand on his shoulder. We'll handle it, Naruto. We've faced tough challenges before. Sasuke, always the strategist, was already planning their approach. We should focus on stealth and gather as much information as possible before making a move. The team spent the next few days preparing for their mission. They gathered supplies, reviewed their strategies, and familiarized themselves with the terrain of the Land of Rain. The journey was fraught with challenges, from heavy rain to treacherous landscapes. Upon arriving in the Land of Rain, the team moved cautiously. The landscape was a mix of dense forests and muddy terrain, making travel slow and difficult. The constant rain created an oppressive atmosphere, and the team was on high alert. They soon reached a small village on the outskirts of their target area. The village was quiet, with wary residents who eyed the newcomers with suspicion. Naruto approached one of the villagers, trying to gather information. Excuse me, Naruto said, we're here to investigate some unusual activity. Have you noticed anything strange recently? The villager hesitated before speaking. There have been rumors of strange figures in the forest. They come and go, and there's been talk of dark ceremonies. Sakura exchanged a glance with Naruto and Sasuke. That sounds like it could be related to the Jashinists. They thanked the villager and made their way into the forest, following the trail of the strange figures. The dense foliage and constant rain made it difficult to see, but their instincts guided them. As they ventured deeper into the forest, they discovered an abandoned building hidden among the trees. The structure was old and decrepit, but there were signs of recent activity. Scattered papers and symbols on the walls indicated that it had been used for dark rituals. This must be one of their bases, Sasuke said, examining the symbols. We need to be careful. They entered the building cautiously. Finding a series of rooms filled with dark artifacts and documents. The air was heavy with the lingering presence of dark energy. Sakura started to examine the documents, hoping to find clues about the Jashinists' plans. We need to find out what they're planning, Sakura said. These documents might have the information we need. Naruto and Sasuke stood guard while Sakura worked. The tension was palpable as they searched through the documents. They found references to a large-scale operation involving the dark artifact and a ritual designed to unleash its full power. They're planning something major, Sakura said, her voice tense. They're preparing for a ceremony that could enhance their dark abilities. Sasuke frowned. We need to stop this before it happens. We should find out when and where the ceremony will take place. The team continued to search for more information. They discovered a detailed map with a location marked as the site for the upcoming ritual. The coordinates pointed to a remote area in the Land of Rain. We need to get there before the ritual begins, Naruto said. We have to prevent them from completing their plans. The team made their way to the ritual site, 
navigating through the challenging terrain. The weather continued to be a hindrance, with heavy rain and muddy paths slowing their progress. They arrived at the site just as dusk began to fall. The ritual site was a large, open area surrounded by dense forest. In the center was a raised platform with dark symbols etched into the ground. The air was thick with dark energy, and a group of Jashinist cultists were preparing for the ceremony. We need to stop them before they complete the ritual, Sasuke said, his voice low. Naruto nodded. Let's move. The team moved silently through the forest, avoiding detection as they approached the ritual site. They observed the cultists, who were chanting and performing dark jutsu to prepare the ceremony. Sakura looked at the scene with concern. They're almost ready. We need to disrupt the ritual now. Naruto and Sasuke prepared for the attack while Sakura devised a plan to neutralize the cultists. They used their abilities to create a diversion, drawing the cultists' attention away from the ritual. As the diversion took effect, Naruto unleashed his Rasengan, targeting the cultists who were performing the Dark Jutsu. Sasuke used his Sharingan to counter the cultists' attacks and protect his teammates. The battle was fierce, with the Jashinists fighting back with dark magic and forbidden Jutsu. The air crackled with energy as the two sides clashed. Naruto and Sasuke worked together seamlessly, their teamwork proving effective against the cultists. Sakura used her strength and medical jutsu to support her teammates, healing their injuries and countering the dark attacks. The fight was intense, with each side pushing their limits. Despite their best efforts, the cultists were determined to complete the ritual. The dark energy in the air grew stronger, threatening to engulf the entire area. Naruto focused on the raised platform, where the dark artifact was being used in the ceremony. He knew that stopping the ritual was their top priority. With a powerful Rasengan, Naruto shattered the platform and disrupted the ritual. The dark energy dissipated, and the cultists were thrown into disarray. The team continued to fight off the remaining cultists, using their combined skills to secure victory. The Jashinists were defeated, and the ritual was halted. As the battle ended, the team took a moment to catch their breath. The threat of the Jashinists had been dealt a significant blow, but the danger was far from over. We did it, Sakura said, her voice tired but triumphant. The ritual is stopped. Sasuke nodded, looking around at the aftermath. We need to return to the village and report our success. But we should remain vigilant. The Jashinists are likely to regroup and plan their next move. Naruto agreed. We'll be ready. We've faced tough challenges before, and we'll face them again. The team made their way back to the Hidden Leaf Village, reflecting on their mission and the challenges they had faced. They had prevented a major threat, but the battle against the Jashinists was ongoing. Back in the village, Tsunade commended their bravery and skill. You've done an excellent job. Your efforts have prevented a significant threat from becoming a reality. But we must continue to be vigilant. The team knew that their journey was far from over. The threat of the Jashinists still loomed, and they were prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. With their strength, determination, and unity, they were ready to confront the darkness and protect their world. As they prepared for their next mission, they were united in their resolve to bring peace and safety to their world. Their bond grew stronger with each trial they faced, and their commitment to their mission remained unwavering. Chapter 13 Echoes of the Past The Hidden Leaf Village had returned to a semblance of normalcy after the recent battle, but the shadows of the past still loomed. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke had returned from their mission in the Land of Rain with new information, but their victory had come with a sobering realization, the Jashinists were more organized and dangerous than they had anticipated. It was early morning when Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke met in the village's main square. The sun was just beginning to rise, casting a warm glow over the buildings. The three friends had gathered to discuss their next steps. Naruto looked around, his expression serious. We need to understand more about the Jashinists. 
They're planning something big, and we need to find out what it is. Sasuke nodded. We should investigate any connections they might have with other rogue groups or ancient artifacts. There might be more to their plans than we know. Sakura agreed. I'll speak with the village's scholars and see if they have any historical records about similar threats. Maybe we can find some clues in the old texts. As they were about to separate to begin their tasks, a messenger arrived with urgent news. Hokage-sama requests your presence immediately. It's about the Jashinists. The three of them exchanged worried glances and hurried to Tsunade's office. Inside, the Hokage looked more concerned than usual, her expression grim. I've received troubling reports, Tsunade said, handing them a dossier. Our intelligence indicates that the Jashinists are planning an attack on a nearby village. They intend to use the dark artifact to unleash chaos. Sasuke took the dossier and flipped through the pages. Do we know which village they're targeting? Tsunade pointed to a location on the map. The village of Amigekure. It's known for its strategic position and its history with rain-based jutsu. They might be planning to use it as a base for further attacks. Naruto clenched his fists. We have to protect that village. We can't let the Jashinists get away with this. Tsunade nodded. You'll need to leave immediately. Gather any necessary supplies and prepare for an urgent mission. The team quickly organized their gear and set out for Amage Cure. The journey was swift but tense, as they knew the stakes were high. The weather was ominous, with dark clouds looming overhead and occasional flashes of lightning illuminating the sky. Upon reaching Amage Cure, they were met by the village leader, a middle-aged man with a stern demeanor. Thank you for coming. We've heard rumors of an impending attack but didn't know the extent of the threat. Naruto introduced the team. We're here to help. We've been tracking the Jashinists and need to prepare the village for an attack. The village leader nodded and led them to a strategic meeting room where they could plan their defense. The room was filled with maps and diagrams detailing the village's layout and the surrounding terrain. We have to fortify our defenses and prepare for a possible siege, Sasuke said, studying the maps. We should set up patrols and create barriers around key areas. Sakura added, we should also prepare evacuation plans for the villagers and ensure that everyone knows their role in the defense. The team divided their tasks. Naruto and Sasuke began setting up defensive positions and organizing the village's security. While Sakura coordinated with the villagers to prepare for evacuation and medical assistance. As they worked, Naruto couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to the Jashinists' plans than they were aware of. He shared his concerns with Sasuke during a brief break. Do you think they're planning something even bigger? Naruto asked. Something that we haven't uncovered yet? Sasuke considered the question. It's possible. The Jashinists are known for their secrecy and their ability to adapt. We should stay alert and be ready for anything. As night fell, the village was on high alert. The team continued their preparations, knowing that the attack could come at any time. The sky was dark, with occasional bursts of lightning illuminating the landscape. Suddenly, the village's alarm bells rang out, signaling that the Jashinists were approaching. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke quickly assembled their forces and prepared for the battle. The Jashinists' forces emerged from the shadows, their dark figures illuminated by the flickering lightning. They moved with purpose, their chants echoing through the night air as they began their assault. Naruto and Sasuke led the charge, their jutsu flashing brightly as they fought against the Jashinists. Sakura was at the front lines, using her medical skills to heal wounded villagers and support her teammates. The battle was fierce and chaotic, with the Jashinists using dark magic and forbidden jutsu to attack the village. The air crackled with energy as Naruto and Sasuke fought to protect their allies. Despite their best efforts, the Jashinists' numbers were overwhelming. Naruto and Sasuke worked together, their attacks complementing each other as they took down enemy after enemy. 
Sakura used her strength to hold back the Jashinists and protect the villagers. Her focus was on minimizing casualties and ensuring that the villagers were safe. As the battle raged on, Naruto noticed a figure in the distance, a Jashinist priest standing atop a platform, performing a dark ritual. The energy from the ritual was spreading, intensifying the chaos. This must be their goal, Naruto said to Sasuke. We have to stop that ritual. Sasuke nodded. Let's go. The two of them made their way toward the platform, fighting their way through the Jashinists to reach the priest. The ritual was almost complete, and the dark energy was growing stronger. Naruto and Sasuke confronted the priest, engaging in a fierce battle. The priest used dark magic to attack, but Naruto and Sasuke's combined efforts overwhelmed him. With a final, powerful attack, they disrupted the ritual and defeated the priest. The dark energy dissipated, and the remaining Jashinists began to retreat. The battle was won, but the cost was high. The village had suffered significant damage, and many villagers were injured. As the dust settled, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke tended to the wounded and assessed the damage. The village leader approached them, gratitude and relief evident in his eyes. Thank you for saving us, he said. We couldn't have done it without your help. Naruto smiled, though his expression was tired. We're just glad we could help. We'll continue to protect the village and make sure that the Jashinists don't return. Sakura added, we'll also help with the recovery efforts. The village needs time to rebuild. As the team began their work, they were aware that the threat of the Jashinists was far from over. The battle had been a significant victory, but the danger remained. They were determined to stay vigilant and be prepared for whatever came next. The night passed, and the village slowly returned to a semblance of normalcy. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke took a moment to rest and reflect on the battle. Their bond was stronger than ever, and their resolve to protect their world was unwavering. With the immediate threat addressed, the team knew that their journey was far from over. They would continue to face challenges and uncover the truth behind the Jashinists' plans. Their commitment to their mission remained steadfast, and they were ready to confront whatever lay ahead. Chapter 14 The Hidden Threat The dawn broke over the village of Amage Cure. Its soft light revealing the aftermath of the night's intense battle. The once quiet streets were now filled with the sounds of recovery efforts. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke, exhausted but determined, had worked through the night to help the villagers rebuild and tend to the wounded. Naruto stood on a rooftop, surveying the village. His mind was heavy with thoughts of the Jashinists and their mysterious plans. Sasuke joined him, a contemplative look on his face. The battle last night was fierce, Sasuke said, looking out over the village. But I have a feeling this isn't over yet. Naruto nodded. Yeah, I'm worried that the Jashinists have something else planned. We need to find out more about them and their true objectives. Sakura approached, carrying a stack of documents. I've been going through old records and historical texts. There's some information about ancient rituals that might be related to the Jashinists. I think it's worth investigating. Sasuke took the documents from her. Good work, Sakura. Let's see what we can find. The team gathered in a quiet room of the village leader's residence. The air was filled with anticipation as they spread out the documents and began their research. The room was dimly lit with only a few oil lamps casting flickering shadows on the walls. As they pored over the texts, Naruto's eyes caught a passage that seemed to stand out. Look at this, he said, pointing to a passage about an ancient ritual involving dark energy and sacrifice. This might be related to what we saw last night. Sakura leaned in to read the passage. It describes a ritual that can amplify dark energy to create chaos. If the Jashinists are planning to use this, they could cause widespread destruction. Sasuke nodded thoughtfully. We need to find out where they're performing this ritual. If we can disrupt it, we might be able to prevent further attacks. 
the village leader entered the room, looking anxious. I've received word from our scouts. There's been unusual activity in the nearby forest. They believe the Jashinists might be setting up something there. Naruto's expression hardened. Then that's where we need to go. We'll investigate the forest and see if we can find any clues. The team prepared to leave, gathering their gear and making sure they were ready for whatever they might face. The forest outside Amigekure was dense and shrouded in mist, the atmosphere heavy with an eerie quiet. As they entered the forest, the team moved cautiously. The trees were tall and thick, their branches creating a natural barrier that made it difficult to see far ahead. The air was damp, and the ground was uneven, making their progress slow. Sasuke led the way, his Sharingan activated as he scanned for any signs of the Jashinists. Sakura and Naruto followed closely, their senses alert to any changes in the environment. After several hours of searching, they came across a clearing with a large, stone altar at its center. The altar was covered in strange symbols and dark stains, indicating that it had been used for rituals. Naruto examined the altar closely. This looks like the place from the documents. The symbols match the ones described in the ancient texts. Sasuke nodded. We should search the area for any clues or evidence of recent activity. As they searched the clearing, Sakura found a small, hidden compartment beneath the altar. Inside, they discovered a series of scrolls and a dark, crystalline artifact. The artifact pulsed with a faint, ominous light. This must be the dark artifact mentioned in the records, Sakura said, holding up the artifact. It's likely they were planning to use this in their ritual. Naruto's eyes narrowed. If they're trying to use this artifact, they might be close to completing their ritual. We need to find out where they are and stop them. The team quickly gathered the scrolls and artifact, making their way back to Amigekure. The journey was tense, with the weight of their discovery pressing heavily on them. Back in the village, they met with the village leader and explained their findings. The Jashinists are likely performing the ritual somewhere nearby, Sasuke said. We need to find their location and prevent them from completing it. The village leader nodded. We'll increase our patrols and search the surrounding areas. If you have any more information, let us know. The team set out once more, following the clues they had gathered. The search took them deeper into the forest, where the atmosphere grew more oppressive and dark. As they neared their destination, they encountered a group of Jashinists who were in the midst of preparing for the ritual. The group was led by a high-ranking priest, who was overseeing the setup of the dark artifact and the ritual's components. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke approached quietly, their movements stealthy as they prepared to intervene. The high-ranking priest was chanting an incantation, his voice low and rhythmic. We have to stop them before they complete the ritual, Naruto whispered to his teammates. Sasuke nodded. Let's take them by surprise. We'll need to be quick and precise. The team launched their attack, their jutsu flashing brightly as they engaged the Jashinists. The battle was fierce, with the Jashinists fighting back with dark magic and powerful techniques. Naruto and Sasuke fought their way through the enemy ranks, their movements coordinated and fluid. Sakura used her medical skills to support them, healing wounds and providing cover. The high-ranking priest, realizing the threat, intensified his efforts to complete the ritual. He chanted louder, his dark energy surging and crackling around him. Naruto and Sasuke focused their efforts on the priest, using their combined abilities to disrupt his incantation. The priest fought back with powerful attacks, but the team's determination and teamwork began to overpower him. With a final, decisive blow, Naruto and Sasuke defeated the priest, and the dark energy dissipated. The remaining Jashinists, seeing their leader defeated, began to retreat. The team quickly secured the area, ensuring that the dark artifact and ritual components were destroyed. The immediate threat was neutralized, but they knew that the Jashinists might regroup and plan their next move. As they made their way back to Amigekure, the sun began to rise, 
casting a warm light over the forest. The battle had been intense, but the team's efforts had prevented a major catastrophe. Back in the village, the villagers expressed their gratitude once again. The team was tired but relieved, knowing that they had made a difference. We've made progress, Naruto said, looking out over the village. But there's still much to do. We need to stay vigilant and continue our fight against the Jashinists. Sakura and Sasuke agreed, their expressions determined. The battle was won, but the war was far from over. The team knew that their journey was far from finished, and they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The night was calm, and the village slowly returned to its routine. The team took a moment to rest, reflecting on their recent victories and the challenges yet to come. As they prepared for the next phase of their mission, they were united by their resolve to protect their world and uncover the truth behind the Jashinists' plans. Their bond was stronger than ever, and their commitment to their cause was unwavering. Chapter 15 Echoes of Darkness The sky over Amigakure was clouded, a dull gray that seemed to reflect the tension and uncertainty that hung over the village. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke had returned from their recent battle with the Jashinists, but their victory felt incomplete. They knew that their adversaries were still out there, plotting their next move. Inside the village's strategic command room, the team gathered with the village leader and several trusted allies. The air was thick with anticipation as they discussed their next steps. Thank you for returning the artifact and preventing the ritual, the village leader said, his voice grave. But the Jashinists are still a threat. We need to find out more about their plans and their base of operations. Sakura spread out the documents and scrolls they had recovered, her expression serious. We've learned a lot, but there's still so much we don't know. According to these texts, the Jashinists are seeking something called the Heart of Darkness. It's a powerful artifact that could amplify their dark magic. Sasuke's eyes narrowed. If they're after this heart of darkness, they'll be even more dangerous. We need to find out where they're hiding it. Naruto nodded, his face set in determination. We'll start by tracking down any leads related to this heart of darkness. If we can find it before they do, we might be able to prevent a major catastrophe. The village leader nodded in agreement. We'll mobilize our scouts and gather as much information as we can. In the meantime, be on your guard. The Jashinists are likely to make their move soon. The team set out immediately, leaving the village behind and heading into the dense forest once more. Their goal was to follow the trail of the Jashinists and uncover their hidden base. The journey was long and arduous, with the team facing various obstacles and challenges along the way. As they traveled, they encountered several clues that led them deeper into the forest. The tracks were fresh, indicating that the Jashinists had recently passed through. They followed the trail carefully, their senses heightened. After several days of tracking, they arrived at a secluded valley surrounded by high cliffs. At the center of the valley was a large, ancient-looking structure covered in dark, twisted vines. The structure seemed to pulse with a dark energy, sending shivers down their spines. This must be their base, Sakura said her voice low. The dark energy here is intense. Sasuke nodded, his Sharingan activated as he scanned the area. We need to be careful. There might be traps or guards. Let's approach cautiously and see what we can find. The team moved stealthily, using their skills to avoid detection. As they neared the entrance to the structure, they spotted a group of Jashinist guards patrolling the area. The guards were heavily armed and seemed to be on high alert. Naruto signaled to his teammates, and they prepared to take out the guards quietly. With precise coordination, they dispatched the guards without raising an alarm. Once the area was secure, they made their way inside. The interior of the structure was dimly lit, with flickering torches casting eerie shadows on the walls. The air was heavy with the scent of decay and dark magic. The team moved carefully, their footsteps echoing through the dark corridors. As they explored, 
they came across several rooms filled with strange artifacts and ritualistic symbols. The deeper they went, the more they realized the extent of the Jashinists' preparations. It was clear that they were on the brink of something significant. In one of the deeper chambers, they found a large altar surrounded by dark symbols. On the altar lay a dark crystal, glowing with an ominous light. It was the heart of darkness, the artifact they had been searching for. This is it, Sasuke said, his voice filled with determination. We need to destroy it before they use it in their ritual. Before they could act, a figure appeared from the shadows. It was the high-ranking Jashinist priest they had encountered before, his expression cold and menacing. Too late, the priest said with a cruel smile. You've walked right into our trap. The room filled with a dark energy as more Jashinists emerged from hidden compartments, surrounding the team. The battle was imminent, and the team prepared to fight with all their might. Naruto charged forward, his raisin gan glowing brightly as he engaged the Jashinists. Sasuke used his Sharingan to predict their movements, while Sakura provided support with her medical jutsu and chakra-enhancing abilities. The battle was fierce, with the Jashinists fighting back with dark magic and powerful techniques. The high-ranking priest, wielding dark energy, seemed almost invincible. But the team's teamwork and determination pushed them forward. As the battle raged on, Naruto and Sasuke focused their efforts on the high-ranking priest. Their combined attacks created a powerful surge of energy, forcing the priest to retreat. Sakura used her healing abilities to keep her teammates in fighting shape. Her focus unwavering as she fought off the Jashinist attackers. The room was a chaotic battlefield, with dark energy clashing against the team's determined attacks. Despite the intensity of the battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to force the high-ranking priest back, their combined strength overwhelming him. With a final, powerful strike, they defeated him, causing the dark energy to dissipate. The remaining Jashinists, seeing their leader defeated, began to retreat. The team quickly destroyed the Heart of Darkness, ensuring that it could not be used for any further rituals. Breathing heavily, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke stood amid the wreckage of the chamber. The battle had been hard fought, but they had succeeded in their mission. Is everyone okay? Naruto asked, looking at his teammates. Sakura nodded, her expression tired but relieved. We're fine. The heart of darkness is destroyed, and the Jashinists have been driven back. Sasuke surveyed the area, his eyes still vigilant. We need to be cautious. The Jashinists might regroup and try again. We should report back to the village and prepare for any future threats. The team made their way back to Amagekure, their journey back marked by a sense of accomplishment but also the lingering awareness that their fight was far from over. The village welcomed them with gratitude, but the atmosphere was still tense. In the command room, the village leader praised their efforts. You've done a remarkable job in preventing the Jashinists from using the Heart of Darkness. But we must remain vigilant. There may be more threats on the horizon. Naruto nodded, his determination unwavering. We'll continue to do everything we can to protect the village and uncover the truth behind the Jashinists' plans. Sakura and Sasuke agreed, their expressions resolute. The team knew that their journey was far from finished. The Jashinists were a persistent threat, and their battle against darkness was far from over. As night fell over Amagekure, the team took a moment to rest, reflecting on their recent victories and the challenges yet to come. Their bond was stronger than ever, and their commitment to their cause was unwavering. They knew that their fight against the Jashinists was only one part of a larger struggle. But with their determination and unity, they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Chapter 16, The Unseen Enemy The night in Amagekure was unusually quiet. The village's usual hustle had given way to an uneasy calm, the kind that signals something is amiss. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke, having recently returned from their intense battle, gathered at their temporary base to discuss their next steps. Naruto paced back and forth in the dimly lit room. 
We've dealt a serious blow to the Jashinists, but I can't shake the feeling that something bigger is coming. Sakura, sitting at a table covered with maps and documents, looked up from her research. You're right. The Jashinists have always been unpredictable. We need to prepare for anything. Sasuke leaned against the wall, arms crossed. We should focus on gathering more intelligence. There might be another group or a leader we haven't identified yet. The village leader, who had joined their meeting, nodded in agreement. We've received reports of unusual activity in the neighboring regions. It might be related to the Jashinists. I'm sending out scouts to investigate. Naruto's eyes lit up with determination. We'll join the scouts. The sooner we get to the bottom of this, the better. The team prepared for their journey, equipping themselves with supplies and preparing mentally for what lay ahead. The scouts, skilled in tracking and reconnaissance, were already on their way. The team met up with them at dawn, ready to set out. As they traveled through dense forests and rocky terrain, the scouts shared their findings. We've seen signs of a hidden base in the region, one scout reported. It's well concealed, but we've detected some unusual energy signatures. Sasuke's eyes narrowed. That sounds like it could be the Jashinist's new hideout. We need to be cautious. Naruto nodded. Let's move quickly. The longer we wait, the more time they have to prepare. The group continued their journey, following the scout's lead. The forest grew darker and more foreboding as they neared their destination. The air was thick with an unsettling silence. As night fell, they arrived at the edge of a steep cliff overlooking a hidden valley. Below, they could see the outlines of a large, fortified structure, heavily guarded and surrounded by dark energy. This must be it, Sakura whispered. We need to find a way to get in without being detected. The team observed the base from a distance, noting the patrol routes and guard placements. They formulated a plan to infiltrate the base during the cover of night. Using stealth and their skills, they approached the base, avoiding the patrols and slipping past the guards. Once inside, they found themselves in a labyrinthine network of corridors and chambers. The base was filled with eerie symbols and dark energy, reminiscent of their previous encounters with the Jashinists. This place gives me the creeps, Sakura said quietly. We need to find their main chamber and get any information we can. The team moved cautiously, their senses alert for any signs of danger. They eventually reached a central chamber where several Jashinists were gathered, discussing their plans in low voices. Naruto signaled for the team to stay hidden as they listened in. The conversation revealed troubling news. The ritual is nearly complete, one Jashinist said. Once we harness the heart of darkness, we'll have the power to summon an army of shadows. Sasuke's eyes widened. They're planning something massive. We need to stop them before it's too late. The team prepared to confront the Jashinists. They burst into the chamber, catching the Jashinists by surprise. Naruto and Sasuke took the lead, engaging in combat with the Jashinists, while Sakura used her medical jutsu to support and heal her teammates. The battle was intense, with dark energy clashing against their combined attacks. The Jashinists fought fiercely, their dark magic creating powerful obstacles. Despite the odds, the team fought with determination, their teamwork proving to be their greatest asset. In the midst of the battle, Naruto and Sasuke faced the Jashinist leader, a formidable opponent wielding dark energy. The leader was powerful, but the team's combined strength was overwhelming. After a fierce struggle, they managed to defeat the leader, disrupting the ritual and causing the dark energy to dissipate. With the leader defeated and the ritual stopped, the remaining Jashinists began to retreat. The team quickly gathered any remaining evidence and made their way out of the base. As they left, they noticed the base's dark energy fading, a sign that their victory had been significant. Back at Amigekure, the team debriefed the village leader and shared their findings. We've stopped their ritual and gathered valuable information, Naruto reported. But there's still a threat. 
We need to stay vigilant. The village leader nodded. You've done an excellent job. We'll strengthen our defenses and continue to monitor any potential threats. Sakura looked at her teammates, a sense of relief washing over her. We've made progress, but this isn't over. We need to be ready for whatever comes next. Sasuke agreed. We've faced many challenges, but our bond and determination have always seen us through. We'll continue to fight for our village and protect those we care about. The team spent the night in the village, resting and preparing for the future. The battle against the Jashinists was far from over, but their recent victory had strengthened their resolve. As dawn broke, the team prepared to set out once more. The path ahead was uncertain, but their unity and determination would guide them through whatever challenges lay ahead. The journey continued, each step bringing them closer to uncovering the truth behind the Jashinists and ensuring the safety of their world. With their bond stronger than ever, they faced the future with hope and determination. Chapter 17, Shadows in the Mist The morning sun pierced through the mist that blanketed the village of Amigekure. Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke, still recovering from their recent battle, were summoned by the village leader. They gathered in the leader's office, concern etched on their faces. Good morning, the village leader began, his voice steady. I trust you've rested well. We have new developments that require your attention. Naruto, eager as ever, leaned forward. What's going on? The leader placed a map on the table, pointing to a remote area marked with an ominous symbol. Our scouts have reported strange activities in the forest of the Forgotten. It's said that a powerful artifact is hidden there, and there are signs that the Jashinists are seeking it. Sakura frowned. An artifact? What kind of artifact? The leader's expression grew serious. It's believed to be the Eye of Eternity, a relic said to grant immense power to its wielder. If the Jashinists obtain it, their threat could become even greater. Sasuke's eyes narrowed. We can't let them get their hands on it. We need to investigate immediately. The leader nodded. I'm assigning a team to assist you. They'll help with reconnaissance and ensure that you're prepared for any dangers. The team gathered their gear and prepared to leave. The air was thick with tension as they set out towards the forest of the Forgotten. The forest was dense and eerie, with shadows dancing among the trees. As they ventured deeper, Naruto and Sasuke led the way, their senses alert for any signs of danger. Sakura, ever vigilant, kept an eye out for any clues that might reveal the artifact's location. Hours passed with little progress. The forest seemed endless, and the mist only added to the feeling of unease. Suddenly, one of the scouts raised a hand, signaling for the team to stop. Look at this, the scout said, pointing to a series of strange markings on the trees. These symbols might be a clue. Sakura examined the markings closely. These symbols are old, but they resemble some I've seen before. They might be guiding us towards something. Naruto nodded. Let's follow them. They could lead us straight to the artifact. The team continued along the trail marked by the symbols. The forest grew darker and more foreboding as they progressed. The mist seemed to thicken, and the air grew colder. After what felt like hours, they arrived at a clearing. In the center stood a large stone altar, covered in ancient runes. The artifact was rumored to be hidden within it. This must be it, Sasuke said, his eyes scanning the area for any traps. We need to be cautious. Naruto approached the altar cautiously. How do we open it? Sakura studied the runes. There must be a mechanism or a specific sequence to unlock it. As they worked to decipher the runes, the ground began to tremble. The altar started to glow with a dark energy, and shadowy figures emerged from the mist, surrounding the clearing. It's a trap! Sakura exclaimed. The shadowy figures materialized into Jashinist warriors, their eyes glowing with malice. The team sprang into action, ready to defend themselves. 
Naruto and Sasuke charged at the Jashinists, their movements swift and precise. Sakura used her healing jutsu to support her teammates, ensuring they remained in fighting shape. The battle was intense. The Jashinists were relentless, their dark magic clashing with the team's attacks. Naruto unleashed his Rasengan, while Sasuke's Chidori cut through the enemy ranks. Sakura's precision strikes and healing kept the team in the fight. Despite their best efforts, the Jashinists were numerous, and the team found themselves pushed to their limits. Just when it seemed like they might be overwhelmed, the ground beneath the altar cracked open, revealing a hidden chamber. This must be the entrance, Sasuke shouted. We need to get inside. The team fought their way to the altar, pushing through the Jashinists and entering the chamber. Inside, they found the Eye of Eternity resting on a pedestal, its dark aura pulsing with power. Naruto reached for the artifact, but as his hand neared it, a powerful force repelled him. The chamber shook, and a shadowy figure emerged from the darkness, blocking their path. You seek the Eye of Eternity, the figure's voice echoed. But it will not be so easily claimed. The figure was a formidable opponent, cloaked in darkness with eyes that seemed to pierce through the soul. The team readied themselves for a new battle. Sakura stepped forward. We won't let you stop us. We have to protect the world from the Jashinists. The figure's eyes glowed brighter. You are brave, but courage alone will not be enough. The battle against the shadowy figure was fierce. It used powerful dark magic to counter the team's attacks, creating barriers and launching devastating spells. The team fought with everything they had, but the figure was relentless. Naruto, fueled by determination, used his shadow clones to overwhelm the figure. Sasuke's Sharingan allowed him to anticipate the figure's moves, while Sakura's precision strikes found weak points in its defenses. After an intense struggle, they managed to weaken the figure. With a final, combined effort, Naruto unleashed a massive Rasengan while Sasuke delivered a decisive Chidori strike. The figure dissipated into darkness, leaving only the Eye of Eternity on its pedestal. Breathing heavily, the team approached the artifact. Naruto picked it up carefully, feeling its dark energy pulse in his hand. We've got it. Let's get out of here before more Jashinists arrive. They made their way back through the forest, the mist clearing as they left the area. The battle had been hard fought, but they had succeeded in securing the artifact. Back at Amage Cure, the village leader awaited their return. He greeted them with a mixture of relief and concern. You've done well. The Eye of Eternity is safe, but we must remain vigilant. The Jashinists will not give up easily. Naruto nodded. We're ready for whatever comes next. We'll protect our village and the world from their threats. Sakura and Sasuke shared determined looks, their resolve unshaken. The team had faced countless challenges, but their unity and courage had seen them through. As they settled in for the night, the team reflected on their recent battles. The threat of the Jashinists was far from over, but their bond and determination would guide them through the darkness. The future remained uncertain, but with each victory, they grew stronger and more prepared for the challenges ahead. Their journey was far from over, but their spirit remained unbreakable. Chapter 18 The Echoes of the Past The evening sky over Amigekure was painted in shades of orange and purple as Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura sat in the village's central courtyard. The Eye of Eternity was safely stored in a secure location, and for the moment, they were able to rest. Naruto leaned back against a stone bench, staring at the sunset. That was intense. I never thought we'd face something like that. Sasuke, sitting cross-legged with his arms resting on his knees, looked thoughtful. The Jashinists will keep coming. We have to be ready for their next move. Sakura, sitting beside Naruto, glanced at him with concern. Are you okay? You seem to push yourself hard back there. Naruto grinned. I'm fine. Just a little tired. But we did good. 
We stopped them from getting the artifact. A figure approached from the shadows, it was the village leader. I hope I'm not interrupting. I wanted to speak with you all. Naruto stood up and waved. Not at all. What's up? The leader's expression was serious. The Eye of Eternity is safe for now, but we've received troubling news. There are rumors of a Jashinist stronghold in the Land of Rain. We believe they are preparing for a major assault. Sakura's eyes widened. We need to stop them before they can attack. The leader nodded. Exactly. I need you to investigate the stronghold and find out what they're planning. If they are as powerful as we fear, they could pose a serious threat to the entire region. Naruto clenched his fists, determination in his eyes. We'll do it. Just give us the details. The leader handed over a map and pointed to a location deep in the land of rain. This is where we believe their stronghold is. Be cautious. The area is heavily guarded and dangerous. The team prepared for their journey. They gathered supplies, checked their gear, and made sure they were ready for whatever lay ahead. As they left Amigakure and traveled through the misty landscape of the Land of Rain, the atmosphere was heavy with anticipation. Hours turned into days as they navigated through the rugged terrain. The rain was relentless, making travel difficult. Yet, they pressed on, guided by the map and their determination. One night, as they set up camp in a secluded spot, Sakura was the first to break the silence. We need to come up with a plan for when we reach the stronghold. We don't know what kind of defenses they have. Sasuke nodded, examining the map. We'll need to scout the perimeter first. Find a way to get inside without alerting them. We should also look for any weaknesses in their defenses. Naruto, sitting by the fire, was lost in thought. We've faced tough opponents before, but this feels different. The Jashinists are more organized than ever. Sakura placed a hand on his shoulder. We've faced challenges before and come out on top. We can handle this, too. With their plan in place, they continued their journey. As they approached the stronghold, they saw it looming in the distance, a massive fortress surrounded by high walls and guarded by Jashinist sentries. The team moved cautiously, using the cover of night to approach the stronghold. They found a spot where the walls were less fortified and began to search for an entry point. Naruto spotted a small, barely visible entrance at the base of the wall. Over here. This might be our way in. The team made their way to the entrance, carefully avoiding patrols and traps. Once inside, they navigated through dark corridors and hidden passages, using their skills to avoid detection. They finally reached a central chamber filled with Jashinists gathered around a large table. The leaders were discussing their plans in low voices. Sakura whispered, we need to get closer to hear what they're saying. Naruto, using his shadow clones, created a diversion by causing a noise in another part of the stronghold. While the Jashinists were distracted, the team crept closer to the table. One of the leaders, a tall man with an ominous presence, was speaking. The Eye of Eternity is only the beginning. Once we acquire the remaining artifacts, we will have the power to reshape the world. Sasuke's eyes narrowed. They're planning something big. Naruto clenched his fists. We have to stop them. We need to find out what the remaining artifacts are. As the meeting continued, Sakura used her sensory jutsu to detect hidden traps and barriers around the chamber. They needed to be cautious and avoid alerting the Jashinists. After gathering as much information as they could, the team decided it was time to leave. They retraced their steps, avoiding detection as they made their way back to the entrance. Once outside, they regrouped and discussed their next move. Sakura said, we have to warn the village and prepare for whatever they're planning. Sasuke agreed. We need to figure out where the remaining artifacts are and how to stop them from obtaining them. Naruto nodded. Let's get back to Amigakure and report what we've learned. 
we'll figure out a plan from there. The journey back was as grueling as the trip to the stronghold, but the team's resolve was stronger than ever. They knew that the threat of the Jashinists was growing, but they were determined to face it head on. As they approached Amigaycure, the village leader greeted them with a look of concern. Did you find out what they're planning? Naruto stepped forward. Yes. They're looking for more artifacts, and they're planning something that could change the world. The leader's expression grew serious. We must act quickly. The safety of our village and the entire region is at stake. The team began to prepare for the upcoming battle, gathering allies and formulating strategies. The path ahead was uncertain, but their resolve was unshakable. They had faced numerous challenges and emerged victorious, and they were ready to face whatever lay ahead. As they prepared for the next phase of their mission, they knew that the stakes had never been higher. The battle against the Jashinists was far from over. But they were ready to confront the darkness and protect their world from the threats that loomed on the horizon. Chapter 19, The Shattering Storm Amigaycure was bustling with activity as Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura returned to the village. They had barely rested before they were summoned to the war room. The tension in the room was palpable, with the village leaders, Ki Shinobi, and a few trusted allies gathered to hear the latest report. Naruto stepped forward, his face serious. We've discovered that the Jashinists are searching for more artifacts. They're planning something significant that could affect the entire world. The village leader nodded grimly. We suspected as much. We need to act fast. What can you tell us about their plans? Sasuke unfurled a detailed map on the table. From what we overheard, they're looking for three specific artifacts. One is rumored to be hidden in the land of water, another in the land of wind, and the third in the land of earth. They believe these artifacts will give them the power to execute their plans. Sakura's eyes widened. If they gather all three, their power will be immense. We have to prevent them from getting their hands on any of them. The leader turned to Naruto. We need your team to investigate these locations and find out what the Jashinists are planning. You'll have to move quickly. Naruto nodded. We'll start immediately. We'll need all the information we can get on these artifacts. The team spent the rest of the day preparing for their journey. They gathered supplies, reviewed their maps, and made sure they were ready for the challenges ahead. As night fell, they set out for their first destination, the land of water. The journey was long and arduous, with constant rain making the terrain slippery and difficult. Despite the challenges, their resolve was unwavering. After several days of travel, they reached the outskirts of a remote island rumored to hold one of the artifacts. They approached with caution, aware that the Jashinists could be nearby. Sakura, using her sensory jutsu, scanned the area. There are traces of chakra. It's likely the Jashinists have been here recently. Naruto nodded. Let's split up and search the area. We'll cover more ground that way. The team separated, each taking a different path through the dense jungle. Naruto moved silently, his eyes scanning for any signs of the artifact or Jashinist activity. After several hours of searching, he came across an ancient, overgrown temple. He entered cautiously, the dim light from his lantern casting eerie shadows on the walls. Inside, he found intricate carvings and old inscriptions. As he studied the inscriptions, he heard a faint noise, a low, chanting voice. Naruto followed the sound and discovered a hidden chamber where Jashinists were performing a ritual. At the center of the room was an artifact, a glowing, ornate orb encased in a protective barrier. Naruto quietly observed, trying to decipher their plans. The leader of the ritual, a tall figure with a menacing presence, spoke in a deep voice. Once we have this artifact and the others, we will have the power to reshape reality itself. Naruto's heart raced. He had to act fast. He used a shadow clone to create a distraction outside the chamber while he prepared to retrieve the artifact. Meanwhile, 
Sasuke and Sakura, who had been searching elsewhere, converged on the temple after detecting the increased chakra presence. They joined Naruto in the chamber, their eyes widening at the sight of the artifact. Sasuke whispered, we need to take the artifact and get out before they notice. Naruto nodded. Using his ninja tools, he carefully dispelled the barrier around the orb and secured it. Just as they were about to leave, the ritual leader's voice boomed. They're here. Stop them. The room erupted into chaos as Jashinist guards rushed to intercept them. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura fought fiercely, their coordinated attacks overwhelming their opponents. Naruto focused on protecting the artifact while Sasuke and Sakura handled the guards. With the room clear, they made their escape, using the cover of night to conceal their departure. They returned to Amigekura with the artifact, knowing that their next destination was the Land of Wind. Their journey to the Land of Wind was equally challenging, with harsh desert conditions and frequent sandstorms. They navigated through the treacherous terrain, guided by the information they had gathered. After several days, they arrived at a desert ruined site rumored to house the second artifact. They approached cautiously, aware that the Jashinists might be close. Sakura used her sensory jutsu to locate the artifact, which was hidden within an ancient, crumbling structure. As they entered, they encountered a group of Jashinists who had already begun searching for the artifact. The battle that ensued was fierce. The Jashinists, skilled and relentless, fought with a zeal that made them dangerous opponents. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura worked together, their teamwork and determination pushing them through the battle. Naruto focused on finding the artifact, which was hidden in a secret chamber beneath the ruins. After a challenging search, he found the artifact, a dark, pulsating crystal. They retrieved the artifact and prepared to leave, but their exit was blocked by more Jashinists who had arrived just in time to confront them. The team fought valiantly, their exhaustion evident but their resolve unbroken. With the second artifact secured, they began their journey to the land of Earth, their final destination. The travel was difficult, with rocky terrain and treacherous paths. But they pushed forward, driven by the urgency of their mission. Arriving in the land of Earth, they discovered that the Jashinists had already infiltrated the area. The final artifact was located within a heavily guarded fortress. The team devised a plan to infiltrate the fortress and retrieve the artifact. Under the cover of darkness, they stealthily approached the fortress. Naruto and Sasuke used their skills to disable the guards and bypass the security measures. Sakura used her sensory abilities to guide them through the labyrinthine corridors. They finally reached the inner chamber where the artifact, a golden amulet, was displayed on a pedestal. As they prepared to retrieve it, a group of Jashinist elite guards appeared, blocking their path. A fierce battle erupted, the team fighting with everything they had. The guards were formidable, but Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura's combined strength was overwhelming. They managed to secure the final artifact, their mission nearly complete. With all three artifacts in their possession, they returned to Amigekure. The village leader greeted them with a mixture of relief and concern. You've done well to secure the artifacts. But the Jashinists are not finished. They will likely attempt to reclaim them. Naruto nodded. We need to prepare for their next move. We've seen how dangerous they can be. The leader agreed. We'll need to devise a plan to ensure these artifacts are protected and prevent the Jashinists from carrying out their plans. As the team prepared for the upcoming confrontation, they knew that the battle was far from over. The threat of the Jashinists loomed large, and they were ready to face it head on. Their journey had been arduous, but their resolve was stronger than ever. With the artifacts secured and their allies rallied, they were prepared to confront the darkness and protect their world from the impending threat. Chapter 20 The Final Stand The sun dipped below the horizon, casting an orange glow over Amigekure. The village was preparing for what might be its final battle. The three artifacts, the orb, the crystal, and the amulet, 
were secured in a reinforced vault within the village's most secure building. The Jashinists' threat was imminent, and the tension was palpable. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura stood in the war room, their faces grim. The village leaders and key shinobi had gathered to discuss their final strategy. Naruto looked around the room, his expression determined. We have the artifacts, but we need to ensure they don't fall into the wrong hands. The Jashinists will come for them, and we have to be ready. The village leader, an older woman with a stern expression, nodded. We've set up defenses around the vault and placed traps in key locations. We'll also have our most skilled shinobi on high alert. Sasuke, his gaze steady, added, we need to make sure we can track the Jashinists' movements. They're likely to use their stealth techniques to infiltrate the village. Sakura, always the strategist, spoke up. We should also have a plan for quickly reinforcing our defenses and countering any unexpected attacks. The leader agreed. I'll deploy additional forces to strategic positions. Your task is to stay close to the vault and handle any breaches immediately. The team nodded in agreement. They spent the next few hours preparing, checking their equipment, and reviewing their tactics. As night fell, the village fell into a tense silence, everyone waiting for the inevitable attack. As the clock ticked closer to midnight, a faint tremor shook the ground. The village's defenses lit up, and alarms blared. The Jashinists had arrived. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura rushed to the vault, their senses on high alert. The Jashinists' forces were formidable, their dark cloaks and eerie symbols marking their presence. The battle was intense, with the Jashinists using their dark powers and twisted strategies to overwhelm the defenders. Naruto fought fiercely, his Raisin tearing through the enemy lines. Sasuke's Sharingan allowed him to anticipate and counter their moves with precision. Sakura's medical jutsu and combat skills kept their allies in fighting shape. Despite their best efforts, the Jashinists were relentless. Their leader, a tall figure shrouded in darkness, appeared at the forefront of the assault. He held a powerful staff that crackled with dark energy. Hand over the artifacts, the leader demanded, his voice echoing with malice. They are the key to our ultimate victory. Naruto glared at him. You won't get them. We're protecting these artifacts, no matter what. The leader sneered. Then you will all die trying. A fierce battle erupted between Naruto's team and the Jashinist leader. The clash of powers was immense, with both sides pushing their abilities to the limit. Naruto's determination and strength were matched only by the leader's dark power. Sasuke and Sakura fought alongside Naruto, their teamwork a crucial factor in their defense. The battle raged on, with the outcome hanging in the balance. As the fight continued, Naruto managed to land a decisive blow on the Jashinist leader, his Raisin connecting with a powerful impact. The leader staggered, his dark powers faltering. But just as victory seemed within reach, the leader unleashed a final, desperate attack. The ground shook, and a dark vortex of energy began to form around him. Sakura gasped. We need to stop him before he can complete the ritual. Naruto, summoning his remaining strength, charged at the leader, his eyes blazing with determination. Sasuke and Sakura followed suit, their combined efforts pushing against the leader's dark power. In a climactic moment, Naruto managed to shatter the leader's staff, disrupting the ritual and breaking the vortex of energy. The Jashinist leader let out a final, anguished cry before collapsing. With their leader defeated, the remaining Jashinists retreated, their plans thwarted. The battle was won, but the cost was high. The village had suffered significant damage, and many shinobi had been injured. As dawn broke, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura surveyed the aftermath. The vault was intact, and the artifacts were safe. The village leaders approached them, their expressions a mix of relief and gratitude. You've done it, the leader said, her voice filled with respect. You've protected the village and secured the artifacts. 
Naruto nodded, his face tired but resolute. It was a tough fight, but we couldn't let the Jashinists win. Sasuke added, we'll need to rebuild and make sure we're prepared for any future threats. Sakura, her voice soft but determined, said, we've proven that we can face any challenge together. The village began the process of recovery and rebuilding, and the team took some time to rest and heal. The artifacts were placed in a more secure location. And measures were put in place to prevent any future threats. As the days passed, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura reflected on their journey. They had faced countless challenges, fought against formidable enemies, and emerged victorious. Their bond had grown stronger, and their resolve had been tested. Naruto looked out over the village, a sense of pride and satisfaction in his heart. We've made it through this, and we're stronger for it. The village will recover, and we'll be ready for whatever comes next. Sasuke, standing beside him, nodded in agreement. We've achieved a lot, but there's always more to be done. Sakura smiled, her eyes filled with hope. Together, we can face anything. As the sun rose over the village, casting a warm glow over the rebuilt structures, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura knew that their journey was far from over. They had protected their home and secured a future for their world. And as they looked ahead, they were ready to face whatever challenges awaited them, united by their strength and determination. The End Thank you for listening to my story to the end.